Hello everyone and welcome. We are here with another Throwback Thursday and I'm excited about this one because this is a game, you know, perspective is an interesting thing. Uh, this is a game <laughs> I played it, put it, yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid uh, and it's one of the few games that Steven and I didn't play together while we were growing up. Um, and, and a large part of that reason is we were playing Pokemon when we were a little bit younger and this was a game I picked up on a family vacation, picked up two starters. Me and my brother, my little brother Tim played it. And then my friend Will, mm -hmm. who was at the time like, I'm never getting another collectible card game because he was over Pokemon at the ripe age, or <laughs> at, over the model at the ripe age of 12. Must um, be a smart guy, huh? Yeah, he's very smart, actually. <laughs> if you're watching Will, uh, miss you. Hope you're doing well. But uh, we played all summer. We were obsessed with this game. I actually even... Um, I found on the internet this custom way to play. I made it up, and I told Will that I found it on the internet. <laughs> this custom way to play this game where you basically have a character, because it, it's a pretty cool game. You, you each pick a character. It's simulating like a fight between those two characters, right? Right on. Um, and, uh, but I made up this way to play where you could basically like travel around the galaxy and go to the different planets and hunt for the different You made that all up? So you, well, good it was you. this system, but it was like a way to basically track, because uh, I, had, I had some of the Star Wars CCG cards, mm -hmm. and they had the planets, and I was like, how cool would it be if you could like play with four or five people going around the galaxy playing this thing? Yeah, that's good stuff. But we were obsessed with this game for probably like, a, a, probably a year. And it was the game between Pokemon for me and the Star Wars TCG, which you're familiar with because we got obsessed with that game. And so once the Star Wars uh, game came out, uh, there's like a hierarchy of fandom for me. Um, yeah. And Star Wars is pretty high, or was pretty high. I don't know where it's at right now in my heart. But it's very high. Uh, and once that came out, this kind of just fell away wayside. But uh, while this was happening, because they, as far as I remember, this is made by Score. And they were putting it out and they were trying to, I was reading a blog about this uh, this past day of the history of the game. I had no idea it was going on, right? Right. But they were trying to catch up to the show. Basically, okay. they, were, they were trying to put cards out when the show was, was happening. That makes sense. Um, and that created some, some tensions. But it's kind of wild because like with the Star Wars TCG, we played it and we, we traveled to tournaments and stuff. But this game was literally uh, kind of what we've been describing. We've been going through Flesh and Blood TCG recently. A little kitchen table kind of yeah, situation. Like, it's what we have now. It's what we had growing up. Is like uh, most of the time you buy some cards, you play with what you've got, and you don't really ever understand a meta or you don't go to tournaments. You, you don't optimize anything. Um, Sometimes your friend has that busted deck for a while and you either tell them to quit playing it absolutely. or you, you get more cards so that you can beat or it. Or you stop playing. <laughs> that's, that's actually, I think, what pushed Will out of uh, Pokemon. I had this like crazy uh, Lu Lugia deck when that came out, whenever Ugh. that was happening. He was just like over it. And he's like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm out. Uh, but this is a really fascinating game. I'm curious. I have not played it since I was a kid. Um, and I'm curious if my fond memories are rose-colored glasses of nostalgia or if it's genuinely as fun as I remember it. And I do think that this is a, an ideal game for reading the history about the meta. It was like, this seems like the ideal casual game to me. Two people that love Dragon Ball Z. I've, I've set up some, some interesting stuff here. Uh, but I'm, I'm curious what this game feels like looking back play it. several years. I'm looking at some of the uh, peripherals on the table here. It's got me pretty excited about the possibilities. Uh, before we get any farther, uh, I want to wish a happy birthday to Tom McCall. I uh, see you on the happy chat birthday, all the time. Tom. Apparently it is your birthday, so hope you're doing well and have a better year this year than you've ever had uh, in your life. And uh, good question here from Matt. Who started the stream? Well, believe it or not, we've come up with a revolutionary new solution Big to this. Big brain time. Uh, after many months, Zach uh, said to me, you know, there's a wireless mouse on that computer over there that's running the stream, and if you just had the mouse over here at the table, we could just start it from here. Well, we, we part of the... And it, so then that's what we did. Part of the innovation happened because the screen that runs it, normally, of course, we have a third person sitting over here at the desk with this computer <laughs> running, and as we're saying, these cards are popping them up. And at some point, it was like, hey, it would be really cool if we could see the monitor to see what was going on so that the timing is correct. And it happened because I was doing solo streams last Yeah, week. yeah, yeah. And so I was like, well, I could see when the, the Zoom at the first was open up. I know when to start talking. So you turn the screen where I could see it. And then now that I can see it, it was like, man, if we could just click the button from over here, that'd be nice. And then I was like, hey, isn't that a wireless mouse? <laughs> so we did. Constant I improvement. I control the whole thing. Isn't that, that's how innovation happens, really. It just hits you right in the face, and you're like, well... It wasn't revolutionary. It was just a small, like, oh, yeah, well, this is the way we've been doing it, and then we can change the way we've been doing it now that there's only two of us. And here we are. 
I mean, that's the way great things happen. Right? Constant improvement. Keep your eyes open out there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm still the skeleton crew, though, I assure you. We and are. I'm, I'm trying to embody that skeleton vibe as much as possible was, by losing as this, much humanity as I can on the top how, of my head. You know how, like, the, they have the, like, uh, concert crew shirts? Mm -hmm. I was like, it'd be really funny if we had a skeleton crew shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it would be very funny. Well, let's do it. Where's our merchandising wing, That's anyway? That's right. Coming to a shop near you. You want to zoom in? We can put, zoom get in him in, the table? Uh, put him in Hot Topic or something. Do you want to show anything? Well, I want to show these sweet swords. What are these about? <laughs> yeah, look at this. I pulled this out this morning and Steven almost died. <laughs> like this right here. I was like, hey, look. You can't pull it out, actually. These are anger swords. They track our anger. How angry are we? Oh, man. This is so good. Tell me how this game works. Come on, let's get into it. I'm, I'm curious. So, you've got, so Zach has laid out, uh, and this is a classic sign of these old games, uh, decks that you really just can't shuffle. They're just too big. It's like 85 <laughs> cards, it looks like. That's the max, I believe. So we've got some blue mastery, some Unless orange mastery, mechan. some black mastery, and some so, red mastery. To, to explain kind of the context of the game so you understand before I make you make any choices, um, in the Dragon Ball Z CCG from Score, uh, each player is going to pick a character. And so I have this stack of all these characters that we can choose from. Um, and it's one-on-one, -on -one, right? So it'll be Gohan versus Piccolo, or Piccolo versus Cell, or Vegeta, or whoever you're interested in. Is it realistic in the sense that, like, you know, like, the weaker characters will always lose to the stronger characters? Like, So in the, the first set particularly, um, like, uh, if we can pop up Tien, which is one of your favorite characters. Uh, My absolute characters. favorite. I got the let's, third eye let's thing make sure going that's on. Working. Got that illusion thing going on. Like, everything about... That card is of, of extreme interest to me. Yeah, so you look, this, and this is one of the kind of peculiar things of the, of the game. I didn't know this until I read that blog um, on, I think it's like DBZ TCG Retro is the website. Uh, but essentially, for the first three or four sets, the power levels of the characters was actually dictated by uh, the license holder. So okay. it, it had to line up with what was happening in the show. Okay, right on. And then at a certain point in the show, the creators decided not to have numbers associated with the level of power anymore because people were becoming too concentrated on the number and not just, like, the visible power of the character. That makes sense. So, like, around the, like, Android saga, I believe, you start noticing the show, they're not talking about specific numbers anymore. Like so, the over 9,000 thing and all yeah, of that. Yeah, in the that, first season, it's blew my mind yeah. Yeah, when I was younger. Um, it's, Can you believe he's over 9,000? <laughs> and then they get to the Frieza saga, and it's like, he's the... at a million? <laughs> what? <laughs> ah! And then eventually, it's like, past a million, your brain doesn't care anymore. It's yeah. like, oh, it's big. It's yeah, a big yeah. number. Uh, but like Tien here, I think his max power stage, you'll see on the right, they have power stages uh, on Tien. I think the top one's 1,000. Yeah, um, 1,000 uh, or 0 all the way up to 1,000. Yeah. yeah, so then if I pull some of these early characters, right, like uh, Vegeta 1. Let's see if we can pop him up on screen. And let me find Vegeta. Hopefully he's here. There he is. <laughs> A lot of people are talking about the swords bringing back some memories. Yeah, uh, if we get Vegeta <laughs> 1 happening here. And these are both the stage 1 starting characters. You see the top left of Tiani is that 1. Um, let's zero verify here 1000 zero what so vegeta what are we on vegeta one? Oh my Should gosh be vegeta the, art, one. the art on this card is so good you see this i'm wanting to see it <laughs> i'm looking over to verify that it's happening i don't think it is i don't think it's happening that's all right all right anyways you'll notice on this vegeta card particularly his his max power stage is 3800 um and so what's going to ultimately happen is those power stages are, I think I see movement now. I want it to pop up. I can't do that from my computer, unfortunately. It's a bummer. Um, his max power stage is 3,800. And so that, that is literally, this is one of the most unique things of the game. Uh, we have this table here, which won't pop up. It's a physical attack table. Yeah, let's look at this. Yeah, there's, there's two of them, technically. I printed them out. Um, but basically, with the first set, which is called Sand Saga, there was an attack table, which I don't even have. Um, I could not find it online anywhere. <laughs> um, but because the, the power stages level up, essentially. But if you look at this first one, it's the Trunk Saga. Uh, it says Trunk Saga right here. Yeah. And that was like the third set of the game. And on the left, you have power stages, which are the attacker's power stages. So if you're at like 100 to 6,900, use this uh, row. And then you oh take the, def gosh. the defender's power stage, let's say you were at zero, and then it gets me to a number, right, which is two. Um, so if I do a physical attack particularly, mm -hmm. that's how much damage it's going to do. And damage is going to be discards off the top of your deck. And so once you run out of deck, you're out of life force and you, you lose the game. Okay, deck is life. Deck so is life. So we're trying to run the, run the opponent yeah, out so of deck. Yeah, so 
T in as an example. We've got Vegeta T. There he is. Look, look at him. The classic art too, right? Vegeta one. So at thirty eight hundred. So technically, right, um, the power level only matters so much because there are two primary types of attacks. There's physical attacks and energy attacks. So energy attacks, you'll spend your power stages, and this is one of the most fun parts of the game. Vegeta one, right? We have these Z scouters. Mm -hmm. So this is what's literally going to measure his power level. You oh see my. it through the little slot there, like oh you would on man, the Z that's scouters. Really, really pretty cool. So basically, energy <laughs> attacks are going to require you to use your power stages. <laughs> um, but then physical attacks, the number actually does physical stages first. So if you do five damage on this table, you actually have to lose if you're taking five five stages of power. Hmm. Um, but when you get to zero, everything past that comes as life life damage. Oh, okay. Energy attacks just directly do life damage. Okay, cool. So that's cool, the cool, two cool. styles. So technically, power level matters to a point. But what happens is like Tien here from the first set, uh, if we look at Gohan stage one from the Cell Saga, so this is Gohan the Champion. Gohan the Champion, wow. His peak level is 1.2 million. Okay, that's high. Yeah, so if he was fighting against Tien, uh, that's going to be very bad for Tien. Yeah. But technically speaking, if he's at max and he takes eight power stages of damage, he would just go down to 200. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's that's not going to be the end of the game. You're just losing power stages. Um, Gohan would have a... And this, this is, like, a very big disadvantage. But, again, if we pull that Vegeta 1 back up, Vegeta is not so unmatching Tien that it's going to be impossible to deal so with. So, it's basically a max of 3,800 versus a max of 1,000. Yeah. And in power stages are power stages, right? Power so stages like are power you, stages. You take a couple damage, you lose your some power stages, and then your less powerful attacks. Yeah, that that's right. How it and works? so you have to spend these power stages to do energy attacks, and then if you get to zero and you're taking more damage, you're going to discard. So I'm going to I'm going to do the basics of the game in a second. But here's what I have set up. There are different styles of fighting, mm -hmm. right? And they're represented by colors in this game. So like I have this red style mastery, um, and so it's called a like. Toki Waza as well is mm -hmm. a is a you can basically declare that and be before the third set you could declare a master like a Toki Waza bef without a mastery, and so what that means is that you only have that style of card in your deck. Oh, okay. So to run okay. a red style mastery, you have to have only red cards in your deck. Right on. And there are two benefits that happen. They invented the red style mastery to make it more worthwhile to do this, because before this, the benefit that they gave you was not enough that it was worth restricting yourself to just one color. Okay. Classic. Uh, yeah. Which is when you have one of these masteries. If we pull that uh, T in back up, um, you'll see this one next in like with a green background, the middle left, bottom kind of the card. Kind of middle left, yeah. So that's your power up rating, um, and so each each round you're going to get a power up that many stages. And if you have a Toki Toki Waza, I'm probably saying that totally wrong, by the way. <laughs> uh, if you have that declared, so if you're only running one style of card, you actually get plus one to that. Okay. So you power up two stages. You power up two stages, so but, double your efficiency. Yeah, but that usually wasn't enough to to make it worth only running one color of card, especially early on because there's only one set. So it's like a right. very limited pool of cards. Right. Um, so in the third set, they introduce these masteries. And so this is, you can only do it if you are single color of a deck, uh, and it gives you some awesome synergistic ability that works with all the red cards, right? Or all the black okay. cards. So I built a deck, a stack of cards here that are that have the mastery for the color, and I have these four. Technically, there's also Saiyan and Namekian. Cool. Those are more restrictive because you Namekian has to play Piccolo or Nail or Dende. And then Saiyan has to, obviously, you have to be a Saiyan to take the Saiyan right. style mastery. Um, I also had the least amount of cards for those styles, sure. so I didn't even build them. But we basically have four styles with four masteries. I also have a stack of Dragon Balls here. So we're each going to run one through seven of the Earth Dragon Ball. So we'll go ahead and pull up Earth Dragon Ball number one. Um, so. The first way to win is to literally knock out your opponent, to get them out of, of cards and in the deck. No deck right? And that's no deck, right? That's no deck. Run them yeah. out of deck, yeah. Uh, the second way to win is to collect all seven Dragon Balls. Of course. So uh, if you get all seven into play, you win the game. Okay. That said, if you ever do five life cards of damage to your opponent in a single swing, you can steal one of the Dragon Balls. Oh, wow. So part of attacking <laughs> is, is taking, taking those away. <laughs> now, the third way that you can win uh, and we'll actually use uh, Vegeta as, a, as an example. So let's pull up Vegeta 3. Uh, and this is the first set, original Vegeta, looking I, nice and smooth. I definitely notice it seems like on the later sets they started subnaming them to make, because otherwise yeah. you would have like the first set Vegeta was literally threes. Vegeta 1, 2, 3. And then the second time Vegeta came around, it's like, we'll get to him in a minute. Oh, uh, that's old Vegeta, too. Yeah. yeah. So the. Next way to win is uh, basically reaching your maximum personality level. So if 
at the start of the game, we'll check, right? And it's like, technically, if I have Vegeta stages one, two, and three, you have to have at least one, two, and three. And you have TN stages one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. Whoever gets to three first wins. Really? Yep. But in uh, this later stacks, there are stage fours. Mm -hmm. And there are also even stage, I don't have any. There are also stage fives. So technically, if we were playing, and like I was trying to win by max personality victory, I might run all the way to stage five because my whole deck is about scaling up very quickly and not even doing damage to you. Mm -hmm. But you might only run stage four. That sounds weird. Yeah. So, so like technically, huh. a lot of times if you ever get to four, like I have, um, let me. Find so out is what that does the game keep track of like oh we know Vegeta can go to five so you have to get to five to win? Yep. Okay. So if you only have through level four in your deck, but I have through level five, you can't win from max personality. Huh. So, okay. like, Super Saiyan Goku 4. Is that just, like, screaming the hardest, basically, the whole game? Is that the idea? Like, you charge in the spirit bomb forever it's, it's and then you win? Basically, you get to the <laughs> point... There's a moment in the show where, like, Goku is like, Frieza, I'm so outpowering you, it's not even worth fighting. Okay. I'm going to leave you alone because, like, you can't fight... And Frieza gets mad, and then he eventually has to just end Frieza to end the fight. Interesting. Um, okay. But it... It's a dignified victory. Yeah. So, like, if we pull up Super Saiyan Goku here... I'm too... And this is, like, a shiny... Super card, it looks this like. This is a ultra rare. I wanted this card forever. Um, I love this yeah, card. Put that in there. Um, but yeah. the interesting thing about this Look Goku. Look at that thing. Woo. Yeah, it's Be called calm. Maximum Personality Level, by the way. Uh, but this is stage four Goku, right? And so when I got this at the time, I have stage like, Goku one from the original set, right? And I was the only one with a stage four. So, like, literally, we'd go to a we'd get together to play. And it's like, I'm the only one that can win from this condition. Did did you have to find then two and three before you could go? You have to go one, two, three, four, right? You have you to go one, two, three, four, four. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the other thing, this, we talk about like the collectible model a lot. This had probably the worst starter in the history of starters. That's impressive. Um, well, it, was, it was nice. Well, let me explain it to you. <laughs> so you got the Z Scouter and the sword. You also got a deck, uh, but you also got stages one through three of a character. Good. But it was a random character. Yeah. So if you want Goku, you have to you have to find Goku in a starter, and these starters were twenty five bucks. It's so a fortune as a child. I bought three starters, and I got Piccolo, Gohan, and I think Krillin. Mm -hmm. Didn't get Vegeta, didn't yeah. get Goku, and so then then you go to the store, and it's like, okay, mom, I want one of these for my birthday, and she gets you one. It's like Piccolo, <laughs> and it's like, and nothing else in it you need. <laughs> yeah, right. So then it's literally because the internet wasn't as I didn't have access to buying the stuff online <laughs> at eleven or twelve. It was like, huh. So if I want Goku, like, do I just keep taking a chance here? <laughs> and I think looking back, I think if you bought a whole case of them, you would get them all. But yeah, I'm not yeah, even yeah. sure if that's true. Yeah. So I didn't have Goku forever. You didn't even know what a case was. I actually got Super Saiyan Goku before I got Goku. <laughs> so I had stage four awesome card, and it's like... <laughs> Can't even use it. I, I, I don't even know what to do. So it was, <laughs> it, was, it was bad for that reason. But the thing about these stage fours, which is kind of funny, is, right, is like until someone has a stage five, you immediately win if you get to stage four. Okay. If four is the max stage. So you never even get to use it, right? Wow. If you look, Goku here, <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Goku's 900,000 power level in Super Saiyan Goku 4, it's like, it doesn't matter. So it's just an impressive victory. Yeah, because I think his stage three, Goku 3, if we pull him up, I think his top thing's like 30 something thousand. And then it was like, I remember seeing this, it's like, 900,000, and then it's like, oh yeah, you just the win. Game's over. Yeah, but it's just to basically point to the fact that like he goes crazy and you just win the game. That's hilarious. Um, I love so, it. So, yeah, his, so Goku, Goku 3, his top level is 12,500. Mm. And then it's like 900,000 because he goes super saiyan. How about that? Yeah, you can't touch him. Yeah. Now, so, I noticed uh, before you go further, James Parsons, it's worth, it's worth stating. James Parsons says, you know, this reminds me of uh, an early Covenant video. I feel like I'm watching an early Covenant uh, coverage. We should pull this up. We'll show it to you guys. So in case you guys haven't seen this, well, I think there's a lot of people probably here that don't know our uh, history properly. But what, what version of the game was this that so, we were playing? So this version came out, I think, in like 2000. Mm -hmm. And then I loved this game, obviously. It went away. We started Covenant proper in 2007. And then we heard rumors in 2008 of this new Dragon Ball Z game coming out. And so we had reached out, and I think it was Panini, and it, they were like, yeah, we're going to send you an early starter because uh, we were interested in you know, doing writing, like, blogs about it, and doing yeah. some videos. We were a real influencing powerhouse back then, yeah. I assure you. <laughs> uh, and so we were waiting, we were waiting, and we were home for the summer because we went to different colleges. Yeah. And so we were hoping we would get it that summer so we could try it out like together before we had to go back to different colleges. And like the day before we were leaving, it finally came in. 
so or it was like a week before because we had time yeah. to shoot this yeah. uh, thing. So we learned how to play quickly. We shot this video. Um, and this is the this video we're about to show a clip of is the <laughs> 2008 Panini version, and we're gonna show like 10 seconds of this thing. Hopefully everyone can see it. I think you <laughs> yeah, can. Yeah, you guys can. I don't know about the sound, but you know, we'll we'll do it. Just uh, put it like halfway in your computer or something. The volume? Yeah, I don't know if it matters. It might not even play right, through. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hit play. Hopefully you can hear. It. You can hear it through my mic. Look at that old logo, man. Woo! Game you're born. CCG. Look at this thing. You can see the Star Wars CG in the background there. Alright, start our game. We play uh, Scissors Paper Rock. So here we go. Yeah. Look <laughs> we'll at these guys, man. Alright, I'll choose to go first. So we first did play some Dragon Ball. Starts. Long story short. We did. Now what's funny about that is so the... Um, the That's still on YouTube, by the way. The end, there were, this was an hour and, a, it was like an hour and 10 minute video. And we actually, so YouTube at that point only allowed 10 minute clips of videos, which is hilarious. Uh, and so we had the first 10 minutes on YouTube and then we linked out to an hour long, the rest of the video on whatever Google video is what it was called at the time. Who, Who knows, knows if man. it's even there anywhere. That's absolutely uh, amazing. So what it, what is that game compared to this one? Do you know the history of the games? I know it's so, very confusing. Yeah, so this game came out by score. Then Panini did the 2008 version. And then there was a 2014-ish Panini. And it looks like that's the Bandai one, says Parker. Yeah, Bandai, Bandai, that's version. it. That yeah. makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2014 was Panini. Okay. And they basically took this game. And so this game was originally designed, I think the guy's name was Jim. Um, and from commentary I've read, it's like he very much saw it as like thematic casual game, mm -hmm. not competitive, well balanced. Because like you'll see some of the cards are in here from the first set, and the wording on it is hilarious. Yeah, it's very thematic. It's Love leaning it. into the theme, and like it's like not templated right. And there's lots of different keywords for the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's it's crazy. Um, but 2014, they basically came in and they took the the bones and the soul of this game and they put it into a new game. You have the personalities and the stages, and uh, they basically tried to, mm -hmm. to reboot it, right? Um, and that lasted a couple years, and then it went away. Um, and people love that game. People yeah. say that is like what this game should have been or could have been if it was designed today. There's, it's probably like you know, some people prefer the score version, some people prefer the Panini version. Most people like both, yeah. right? If they like this style of I, game. I think so. And then the most recent one is Dragon Ball Super, which is currently still out and apparently pretty successful. And it came out 2016, 2017. Um, and that's basically what replaced the tried to reboot this uh, thing. Um, so there's been a ton of Dragon Ball card games. The, the one right now is pretty popular, right? It's like doing extremely well. The Dragon Ball Super, is that what it is? Yeah. The, the one now? Yep. I hear a lot about that. Like that seems to be cruising along. I mean, it's, well. I think it's two or three years in and doing like reasonably well. So uh, kudos to them for, for pulling that off. All right, um, Tito, so let's go. What I have is a stack for each mastery. I'll let you choose a color and I assume it'll be blue. And then we're basically going to choose a personality. Um, sure, I'll do blue. And then I technically, uh, to balance that out, I'll do red, which you'll see why in a minute. Why not stick to our tropes? Um, and so, who, uh, what, I'm going to give you some options on characters, right? Uh, so we, ha I'm going to go balanced here on the Cell Saga. We have uh, Gohan the Champion, Goku the Hero. Do I need to stack. pull mine out as well? Yeah. No, these are all the. Oh, I, all, I get yeah. to choose. You literally some. get okay. to pick whoever you want. I have all the androids. Which are fun. I'm sure we'll get to that in a second. Here, put them up. And here. It, these games should be relatively quick. And Bryce, you need to worry so much. We're gonna probably blow through a bunch of different names. Yeah, of course you gotta have Cell. In the I mix. love the androids just as a rule. Yeah. All right, do you need to choose a blue character to go in the blue deck? No, nope, does doesn't that matter. matter so that's just hero or villain, and there are gonna be cards okay. cards that reference whether or not you can be a hero or villain. Some uh, some characters, some space like uh, Vegeta, is technically considered a rogue. Same with Piccolo. They can be hero or villain, but you have to make a choice, and you can only run cards from that side because they you know, they have a history. Mm -hmm. And I technically have some Saiyan Saga personalities, but I'm going to leave those out because we don't have the power levels for that. <laughs> ben, I should. I should bring back the beanie, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, things were different. It was a different time. Um, should we pick things that are similar power levels here, huh? Uh, yeah, these are all from, so if you look on the bottom left, so like we'll pull up Trunks the Swift. He's got this C with a blue, like, uh, not even triangle, but it's triangle-ish thing. Um, that's Cell Saga. Little blue fit so if you look, all there. of these characters have that same logo. Mm -hmm. So these were all designed in the same set. So technically, right, you buy a starter. If you buy a hero starter, you get one of these five at random. 
You buy a villain starter, you get one of these five okay. random. So they should play fairly well, yeah? Yeah. So they're they're going to be, like, if you look here, Cell Stage 1, he's weaker because he is, like, not one to fight at first, right? He only goes up to 600,000. Mm -hmm. um, but later, he gets... Uh, Ooh, sell the, oh my gosh. Pretty. Cool, okay, so these are whole stacks of, yeah. I'm a huge Android 18 fan. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, so can I just take this? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I'll, I'll start it out. Uh, Look at some of these cards are Probably beautiful. where, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, you can, so that's, you can say the name. Uh, Android 18, the smart one. And that's foil. Uh, 1.5 million. It's worth. Doing six life cards of damage. If the car is in play, it also does plus four power stat. The car. So the car is a hilarious story. Do, do you remember the androids in the show? I remember the androids so as like, just fighting, but I don't remember a car. So for you, you shouldn't. Um, so for <laughs> the first uh, like half of the android season, uh, in the first android set, there's like the. Anyways, they are in this van, right? They spend a bunch of time driving around looking for what they want in this van. The androids is like. Uh, it's 18 and I think it was 17 in the front seat and then he's 20 in the back the guy like the, the green man, one yeah. no no he's he's the big the big one Android 16 is just sitting in the back he's the big guy mm -hmm. right um, and they're driving around the van so originally in the apparently in the, the design it was designed to be the van mm. that they're looking for it was kind of a joke because like the first half of the season they don't do anything cool <laughs> um, and so but eventually it's basically like the apparently the license holder did not like the idea of the van because the van didn't seem like relevant and so the only thing they would approve is the car <laughs> from when Goku and Piccolo are trying to get their licenses that was like a subplot and so they switched it to the car and they were too late in the design to actually switch it to something else right because all these abilities are based off of the van um, and so they just went with it and oh it's my, like an inside joke oh which my is gosh, hilarious do I love that um, so I'm mm. gonna start with Piccolo because I loved Piccolo. Piccolo and Gohan were my homies. And I like Vegeta, too. And Goku's fun. You still like Vegeta. You like, the, you like the redeemed villain. Yeah, which Piccolo is obviously that. doing. So I have Piccolo the Warrior. And so basically, you're going to choose your stages. And you might have an extra one. Like, I have this Piccolo Earth Protector, um, which is foil and, like, all cool looking. Uh, but I'm just going to go with the standard versions. And so I have Piccolo the Warrior all the way through his stage four. Should I do the same thing? I yep. do the same thing, yeah. Now, you don't have a stage four. This is what I was saying earlier. Mm -hmm. So in this, this example, um, I would be able to win if I get to stage four. You don't win if you get to stage three, but if you get to stage three, you just get to hang out there. Okay, because the highest stage across that's in the entire, between our two decks, is the one you have to get to. Yep. So if I don't have any fours in my deck, I just can't win that way. You just can't win that way. Okay, and you got to tell me at the beginning, like, yep. hey, I got to stage four. We have four. to reveal what the st what's oh, in the stack. Now, okay. the thing about that that's interesting, right, is, like, you... Um, normally, like if I wasn't running this uh, Piccolo 4, uh, if either of us got to 3, we would win. Mm, so it could be okay. a much quicker game, I get but you. we also would never get to use that character. Right in this game, you actually get to use your big bad character Good. Uh, in, the, in the game. And I will also, because I can obviously go to an extra stage. Excellent. Now, you start uh, 5 stages above 0 on your power level. So do we get to start with 1 in play? 1 state starts in play, and the okay. rest of them are stacked behind. I don't know if that's roughly center. Uh, so Piccolo the Warrior at his starting stage is 450,000. What's yours? One, two, three, four, five. Abacus says 1,010,000. Okay. So if we look at the physical table real quick, just for reference, um, if I was attacking you, I'm at three, in between 300, and it'll be this one, 300 and 699,000. Uh, so you're at, would you say something million? That's crazy. 1,010, uh, 1 million, 10,000? 1. 1.1 1 million? If okay, you so you're no, in column, right. you're in 1. column, 0, 1 million? <laughs> you're in column F if you're above 1 million. Uh, so if I physically attack you, I do no damage to you. Or is it, does it kind of stage one? One, two, three, four, five, so I'm at a million? Yeah. Okay, I'm at a million, yeah. Excuse me, I'm not... No, you're one up. It, I was... It, that doesn't count. So go one up above a million. Okay, done. One million, ten thousand. Okay. Uh, for no reason. <laughs> well, over a million turns me into a different category. Well, yeah, once you, once you hit it actually million, does you, it. Get, you get in. Yeah. Uh, so if I'm attacking you, you're, a, no you're, you're, you're in a class above me physically, so I can't physically damage you right now. Oh, yeah. But vice versa, if you hit me, you're in F, and I'm over here in D, so you would do three stages of damage if you physically okay. hit me. Um, so a few other things. So I have a stack of a mastery. We have our characters. We're going to add our Dragon Balls in, and we're just going to start there. So you put your mastery out to the side. 
and that's going to start the game. I'm going to put it on the edge so I know what I'm dealing with here. Um, and I'll explain some basics of the game, uh, which is uh, I already explained the wind conditions, which is great. Uh, let me go down. So on your turn, a few things are going to happen. Uh, the first thing you'll do when it's your turn is you're going to draw three cards. Okay. And I need to look and see what our starting hand is. So I shuffle all these Dragon Balls into here. Yep. These decks are giant. Yeah, they really are. Do you do that to sell more cards ultimately, you know? Is that kind of the idea? I think a lot of people, di you ran the minimum. So it would be like 20 cards less than this. Classic. Do you, and do you keep your little stages underneath your normal card, huh? Yep. They're not in the deck. They're just hanging out. Because yeah. you'll basically go to that if you ever hit anger level five. So we have these Z swords that we track our anger on. I'm already at anger level five. Yeah, it starts at zero. And then once it gets to anger level five, you automatically advance to the next stage. So I'm going to put mine here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these, these are made in a way that you remarkably just can't read them. Yeah, because they're in black. And <laughs> black on black yeah. is generally <laughs> a bit of a problem. I'm Although, looking, I mean, uh, paying to paint film is probably out of the question. <laughs> well, it's because they they'd have to be engraved in. <laughs> these little swords. Uh, I'm looking for starting hand size because I have no idea. Oh, more cards do equal more life. Anybody out there know the starting hand size? We got a bunch of people watching that have probably played a, a decent amount of this this game. Um, you guys might have actually said it earlier. So it's five above zero. No, oh, they had other color swords. That's good. <laughs> I'm just going to be over here playing with this thing. I mean, <laughs> as Ben says, Zach, this is the game that is the reason you hate reading rule books now. Five, seven, zero. We're going to go three uh, cards. Three. I think it's three. <laughs> we had four different answers. Uh, it's <laughs> classic. It's, we're going to go with three. Classic old game. Um, so on your turn, the first thing you'll do is you'll draw three. And then there's a non-combat step. So you'll see cards yeah. in your deck that, no starting that are, that are non-combat cards. Um, these are literally, they'll say either non-combat, location, battleground, or there'll be a Dragon Ball. Were these in order? They were in order. You really want to shuffle. Okay. I'm going to do some pile shuffling. All right, it's going to take me six, six or seven uh, minutes. Isn't, isn't there an ideal number for pile shuffling? Wasn't there a science behind this? Uh, I think it's five or six. I thought it was five, six, or seven. These decks are gigantic. I mean, yeah, this is unbelievable. I mean, it's very believable, because I do remember this in most of them. In most of these old games. Case of the drops, easy. Yeah. The other thing is, like, back then, a lot of times, I wouldn't have anything sleeved. So mm -hmm. they, they would feel like much smaller snack stacks. <laughs> yeah, what were card sleeves? Seriously, I didn't. I'd, I think I'd put the something that was really like expensive, I'd put it in a top loader and just not even play it, <laughs> just stare at it. I, uh, the sleeves I had were penny sleeves, and those were not for playing. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? They have, like, this much space up top. Yeah, <laughs> and they're just, like, horrible to shuffle. <laughs> Pile shuffles is sevens, yeah. All right, Alex, I was right. I did it wrong, but I'm glad I was right in, in theory. Okay, done, done. Alfredo saying that he thinks Android 18's power level is actually errated. Oh, I, I always choose them good, don't I? Yeah, you sure do. It's cool. Does anybody, and you guys, we may, if anybody's interested in playing this, is there a, is there a community out there currently? Is there like a, a Discord channel or a Facebook group or anything like that that people can get hooked into the, any kind of a continuing community? I know people like this one a lot, or even the Panini one. There's probably something out there. I know somebody knows something. Someone knows something. Yeah, Serbian says, I need to make a trip to my parents' basement. Oh, That's well. right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to walk you through the basics of a turn. Okay. And we'll kind of wade our way through this. So when you start a turn, you'll draw three cards. Okay. Then you have a non-combat step. So you can go ahead and start with your three I just three need to cards. see the cards yeah. to kind of get an idea of what it. I'm dealing with. Um, so you'll draw three. You can play non-combat cards. Then you get your power-up step. So again, if we pull up Piccolo the Warrior, he's got this power-up rating of one. Yeah. So I'll go up one. I have a mastery declared, so I'll actually go up two. You naturally do that just normally Plus one. every time if, you get two. Yep. If you have only one style of card in your deck, which we do. Okay. Um, then we'll go to the declare set. You either literally decide that you're going to attack or not. If you don't attack, you actually take the bottom card of your discard pile. Mm. Or no, top card. Let me find it. So the order matters? Yeah. 
absolutely does. If it's you do the clan attack, take the top card of your discard pile and you put it on the bottom of your deck. So okay, it, so a little bit of a heal, a little bit of a get my tools back in my if, deck if you, situation. If you have a card on the top of your deck you really want to see later, or uh -huh. towards the end of the game, yeah. um, then... Okay, so it's a little yeah. flesh and bloody there. Yeah, uh, it, a little bit. And I, when you run out of deck, you lose, or I'm trying to think, because like, if they go on bottom, we'll get to that. Retro DBZ on Facebook, apparently. Yeah. Okay, so you draw three cards, you up your power level. If you want to fight, you we'll declare do that. It. And then if you don't, you get the top card of the discard uh, on the bottom of the deck. Yep, and then if you do fight, uh, what's going to happen is the defender's going to draw three. And then we will basically go back and forth attacking. And you can play cards that stop attacks. You can okay. def basically defend One card at a time. I do you, one, you, you do one. You get one attack, I get one attack. And there's two primary types of attacks. There's an energy attack and a physical attack. So if we look, like I have red offensive stance. Uh, it has a physical combat here. So it can be played during physical combat. And it says stops a physical attack. Gain five power stages, raise your anger level one. Wow. So if you play a physical attack on me, and I have this card in my hand, I stop it, I go up five stages, I raise my anger one. So if you go up five, if you go up stages in excess of your power level possible, do you go to your next stage nope. or anything? you just hang out at okay, the top. You're the just, only way is to, to advance the anger level. Okay. Um, then let me see if I can, I'm gonna grab a random Okay, so you, you, you're basically topping yourself off there. Yeah. Uh, so like I have this red reverse punch, and it's physical combat. Physical attack doing plus three stages of damage if successful. And then, period, raise card user's anger level one. So if it was my turn, I played this card. It's a physical attack, so we'd reference the chart. I'm way behind you, so I would do zero power stages. Mm -hmm. But this does zero plus three. Okay, I see. So if it hits, you would lose three power stages. If you were at zero, or when you get to zero, every power stage you can't lose costs you a card off the top of your deck. Nice. Um, and then after it's over, I raise my anger level one. Uh, and that would be my attack. Now, if you stop it, right, you can stop it with like a card that I just had. Uh, and we go back and forth until both of us pass. Now, you can play physical combat cards when I'm attacking, or can you only do like counters and defense stuff? So, cards? when you attack, you get to play an attack card or make an attack. Okay. And then so, let's I, say I do that. Let's say I play uh, Blue Hip Spring Through. Yeah, so then if I have a way to stop it, I could stop it mm -hmm. with a card. But then after that resolves, I get a chance to attack. On okay. defense. So we're fighting. So we go back and forth until both of us pass. But the first attack seems really powerful because then any follow up attack, you're at a lower power level. Yeah. If it's a physical attack. Now, if it's an energy attack, <laughs> uh, it's a different kind of thing, right? So if, it, if an energy attack doesn't say otherwise, it costs you two power stages to perform. Oof. So you spend energy to do it, right? Uh, and then by default, an energy attack does four life cards of damage. Mm. So that's four off the top. So it's, power stages don't matter. So physical is kind of the board control element where I'm weakening your uh, character, and then the energy is direct damage. It's just straight right up direct, okay. direct damage. Yep. I'm with it. Um, and so other things worth noting, and this will kind of give you a clue as to what you're trying to do. So my, I have red style mastery, uh, which is my sweet mastery card. This will give you some synergy. So it says once per combat, I can remove the top card in my discard pile from the game to raise my anger level by one. If it's a red style card, I raise my anger level by two instead. Is so there I, an action system? Like, does that count and then it comes back to me, or is that just, you know? So eh. it says once per combat, so I can literally do that. Just, I'm doing it. In combat. Okay. Yep. There's no timing uh, chains, there's no sequencing. Probably not. <laughs> uh, it, it, it'll rarely be a question mark. Then you, you have your blue style mastery here, and it says your opponent must now reach six anger to gain a personality level. So I have to get to six to advance. Mm. Uh, all successful blue style attacks also lower your opponent's anger by one. Oh, good. So I keep you unangry. So mine is like raging up. Yours is trying to keep it down. And yeah, it's really good that you picked sense. Android 18. You have a way higher natural power stage than me. So if you keep me at one and you stay at one, you're way advantaged. Yeah. Yeah. My, That's my plan. Yeah. Totally got it. Uh, so we'll walk through uh, how that works in a second. And I'll have my hand, handy dandy chart. Let's so start fighting. I'll take the first turn. Okay. Uh, since you presumably... So I technically have no cards until you actually tell me uh, because you start You say combat. no starting hand? No starting hand. So you have to initiate combat for me to draw three. Great. Right. Uh, also worth noting what our characters do. So Piccolo the Warrior has a power. It's a physical attack. Choose a card from your discard pile and shuffle it into your life deck. So he literally can make a physical attack, which would do power stages based on this, um, without even playing a card. It's his once a turn power. Uh, and when he does it, I get to pick a card from my discard pile and shuffle it back into So that's deck. like the regenerating, regeneration yeah. thing, yeah. So the Namekian style, the whole thing, which is part of why I also didn't build it, 
is not dying. Okay. They just keep regenerating, right? Yeah. They keep putting cards on the bottom of their deck. Um, and so they're just trying to beat you by like not dying. Um, Chris, fun. Chris does say it costs an action. So instead of attacking, you can use red master or blue master. Cool. That makes sense. So it goes back and forth. Cool. Yeah, it's very, very little timing things. It's like you can play a card when you can play it. And that's really about it. Okay, and then I've got a power on Android 18 here, one, Android 18 one, that says change the future. When entering combat, look at the top six cards and place them back in any order, draw a card. So I get to look at the top six, choose my top three, and then draw my fourth also. So I get an extra card in the combat and I predict. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what? What? <laughs> Okay, Not so that it's going to be good for me, but again, uh, we'll walk it back. Start of my turn, I draw three because I'm the attacker. That happens no matter what. Then I can play non-combat cards. I don't have any I want to play. Uh, then I power up step. I have a mastery, so I'll go up two. Now I'm at five hundred fifty thousand. Mm. Getting there, uh, and then I can declare to attack or not. So I will declare to attack. So you can trigger your ability if you want. All right, you're entering combat. Change when entering combat. Look at the top six. Now a. Effect like that for someone who has no idea what's going on we'll is fun. very little. But you're on defense, so like the stop things are really good in this instance. Okay, so let's take this one. Let's take this one. Let's take this one. And how about do this one? Okay, you have the two on the top of the deck in any order. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a card. So I'm technically drawing four cards instead of three. Okay. Right on. All right, so then I will go, uh, and I get the first opportunity. I'm going to declare. So we're actually going to go to combat. So combat says prepare phase. Uh, any When entering battle triggers, uh, the attacking player gets to play. I don't have any. If you have any on the defense, you can play them When now. entering battle. Yep, and it would say it probably in bold, actually. Uh, no. Now, I have this thing that says non-combat, so I just can't play those in actual combat, right? Yep. So that was during my non-combat phase. I could put those into play. A lot of times they'll be called like a drill. Uh, okay, that, like, so stays like, into play. they stay into play. Yep. Okay, yep. I got you. Those, yeah, yeah. those hang out. And if you want to say it, just so people can see what one of those looks like. Yeah, I was looking at blue prepared drill. Yeah, so that uh, might have been a card you would rather have on the top of your deck going in the next round. And so will I discard all of these at the end of this? At the end of each round, you discard it down to at least one. So you can't keep more than one, but you can also keep zero if you want. Okay, I'll just I'll just keep it. That's yeah. Fine. Okay. So uh, powered up, doing the declare, pre-attack, nothing happening, and now I can attack using an attack card, or I can pass. So I'm going to play a card called Red Power Punch. Um, that'll pop up. It's got Yamcha on it. Uh, it has endurance too. So endurance is a special keyword that's worth noting. When you're taking life cards of damage. If you flip an endurance, it counts for that many cards. Oh, cool. So that would just count as two. Oh, a little uh, rod yep. deal attack. And it says, you. physical attack doing plus three power stages of damage. If successful, I can search my life deck for a drill card and place it into play. Nice. Now, I can play a defense card, it seems like. It looks like, so we've got um, attacker attacks, defender defends, back and forth until both players pass. Yep. So okay. if you have, like, a stop physical attack, um, now, now would be an opportunity to play it if that's something that you want to do. Okay. I do not. Okay, so it'll successfully happen. Uh, I'm doing zero right now because our, you're way ahead of me on power, but it's plus three, so you're gonna lose three power stages of damage. And then I gotta search this heap of a deck uh, for a... You're still at 980,000. Yep, you were, uh, we're almost in the same category. I'm stacked. Uh, I'm looking for a drill. I think there was, I remember building this. Hmm. Wow, this blue, this blue stuff is... And how do you know it's a blue style attack? Is it just blue? All of your stuff is going to be okay. blue right now. Cool. If you look over there in that stack that has trunks on top, you'll see non, non-blue. Oh, it says, so we have to exile uh, endurance for it to work. So if you flip that endurance card, cool. it's removed from the game. That makes sense, yeah, because otherwise uh, you could probably cycle that pretty effectively. Okay, so I'm going to get the red energy defense drill off of this trigger and put it into play, and it says reduce damage from every energy attack by one life card. So when I'm taking energy attacks from you, while this is in play, it's just minus one damage. Okay, all right. And yeah. then this red power punch will go in my discard pile. So now you get a chance to attack me. So now I attack back. Yep. Okay. Also, all the blue cards should say blue in the title. Okay, what if I did this? You're gonna get rid of my drill, aren't you? Yes. Dang it! 
Yeah, blue always plays like blue, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's play Blue Betrayal. It's a physical combat, and that's okay, yeah? Yeah. This is my attack. You can do physical or energy attacks. Totally physical fine. attack. If you declared uh, Takui Waza, which is what we did with blue, right? Mm -hmm. uh, remove an opponent's non-combat card or ally card in play from the game. Now, what I'm curious about is if I stop it, does it stop that effect? Mm. If chat knows, that would be helpful. That's a good question. You're probably right. I'm going to play uh, red offensive stance. Um, stops a physical attack, gain five power stages, and raises my anger level. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you got to so if you we'll, cancel we'll, it, it doesn't we'll, happen, right? We'll see if you get the effect. But I'm going to power up to my maximum power level. <laughs> and then anger level one. Now, your blue ability says when you... When I hit with a blue one, you go minus one anger. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to get to six. That's Removal goes through. If it doesn't say successful, no. Blue Betrayal resolves its immediate effect before you can block. Okay, so this goes away. Yeah. So that would happen. So unless it says if successful. Cool, yeah. perfect. Uh, so that goes there. And then... Then you're coming back at me, huh? I will use... And is there a natural physical attack we can do without without a card? So there is. Um, the uh, Either of us can declare what's called a final physical attack. Mm -hmm. You have to discard a card to do it. And it's a physical attack just based on power rating. It could be any card you want. Okay. Uh, but if you do that, you cannot attack again that round. Okay, cool. So yeah. it ends your turn. Right on. Um, what's your power stage at this point? 980,000. 980,000. 700,000. Power stage 3. Uh, consult the Abacus. Hey, we're, we're in the same bucket. Okay, good. So I would do a, a power stage of damage if I hit you, which is fun. Um, let's go ahead and use my Piccolo the Warrior ability. Physical attack, choose a card from my discard pile and shuffle it into my deck. Um, so that's going to happen. And then it's a physical attack that would technically do one stage of damage if it hits. And I'm going to shuffle the uh, energy defense drill back in. Okay. Because that card's gangster. Now, I've got a card. Let's look at this. Uh, blue Arm Blast. It's I love a, that art. It by says the way. energy attack, doing five life cards of damage, or stops a physical attack. So literally, you can play that to stop this physical attack. Does it cost me two power stages to do it still? That's a great question. Um, I would assume not. So the or is usually a separate effect. Okay. If you're doing the energy attack, it would take your energy. Okay, but so the whole thing is energy attack, doing five life cards of damage, or stop a physical attack. I think so. Now, chat might correct me on that, and okay. that would be helpful. But this is the kind of thing as kids you can imagine. Yeah. Like. Who knows what that's supposed to be? Yeah, we'll see. They're, you guys are helping us out tremendously on the oh, chat. Oh, the drill's removed you. from game, not discarded. So I'll shuffle this back in and get rid of that drill. Woo! You removed it. Yeah. Like a boss. From game. Blue style master. You're not messing around, man. Okay. And then I've got... Okay. All right. Yeah, this makes sense. So I know the cards that I would... And then I get to attack back, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. So are you going to use that to stop the physical attack? It does not cost stages to use a block. Yeah, so I can block that without paying uh, for the stages. Where is this card? There Did is. I successfully block you? Yeah, it blocks. And is that considered a successful blue style attack? No, it is not. Nope. It's a defense. <clears throat> OK. Well, I've got a surprise for you, buddy. I got a blue hip spring throw coming right back at you. It's a physical attack. It does plus two stages of damage if successful, and it stops your next physical attack next round. Your mm. first one next round, it will stop. And it's going to lower your anger level by one, technically by two. Isn't that master. crazy? You can just keep me bucketed down. Yeah. Just. Uh, yeah, I, I can't do anything Hi about that. So it's two plus, we're in the same bracket, so it's one when we're in the same bracket. Always in the same bracket is one. Yeah, so it's going to be three. One, two, three. I'm down to 550,000. So if you hit me now, it would start to hurt because it would be... And then lower your anger level by two. Make it a zero. That's good. Uh, then I will use my once per combat uh, ability on my red style mastery to remove this from the game. It's red, so I'll increase my anger level by two instead of one. Okay. Your action? None. Pass. Now you could do a final physical if you don't want to keep that card, but you probably want to keep it. I'll keep it. It's the drill, yeah. Uh, then I will... My next attack's canceled. Um, it's next round. Is that the next combat round? Or the next round where you're the attacker? I assume it's my next chance to attack. Okay. Let's, let's go with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I will just pass. So I pass, and then we get to the end. Um, 
Discard step, we have to both discard down to at least one, uh, but you can go to zero if you want. And then rejuvenate, I, I attack so that doesn't happen. And now we go to you. So start your turn, you draw three. Okay, sweet. Now we got a, a Mutton Chop Piper. Can you guys put Ashes on the play schedule? Yes. It's on the schedule. It's on the schedule. You'll see it very soon. Now I draw three, and I can I have four cards in my hand? Is that okay? You can. There's no technical max, right? So if you had other cards letting you draw and whatnot, it would be oh. fine. And so then also when I enter combat on my turn, now I, get, get, I get one card because only six. the defender draws three. Oh, yep. that's good. But you're starting to, you can also start stacking your deck how you want it. And I can play any number of non-combat cards? Non-combat cards or Dragon Balls can interplay right now. Can I play two of the same non-combat card? Yeah. What's the card? I play a blue prepared drill. What's it say? Defense shield stops the first unstopped energy attack performed against you during combat. Now, we had two in play. Would they both trigger? I think they would both trigger. All right, well, we don't need that. Let's play a Dragon Ball. Why wouldn't we? All of your... Uh, Which one is this? Earth Dragon Ball 2? Earth Dragon Ball 2. I should say the name. Yeah, I apologize for that. All foes have their power ratings changed to two stages higher than zero. Down to 300,000. That's bad. Okay. That's the end of that. And now I enter combat or not, right? It's up to you. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Interesting. Um, it's, a, it's a cool little game, right? Let's enter combat. Let's get, our, get the yeah. feet so wet you got to do your ability. So I'm going to look at the top six and draw one. I'm going to go ahead and draw my three. You get a... Now, is there something about energy attacks I, I should have been aware of? Or did I get rid of that? I got rid of that. That was your red style. Thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't want to search my deck, so that's gone. Uh, ooh. Yeah. I love this. Uh, Azera's saying you can't have the same style drill in play. OK. That's good enough. Cool. OK. And I want to, OK. Oh, now, oh. Actually, so I've got to build my next hand too. Yeah. Well, isn't this a now technically if the next hand's when you're on defense, then mm -hmm. you would get to look at the top six again. Oh, right on. Okay. Um, let's do it like that. I don't want to spend too much time messing around. And you also power up two stages because you're power up right, right on. You're per. I just naturally get a little cooler. And I, how do I get angrier? Just cards, cards will tell will me do to do it. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have every deck that I built has enough in there to like advance in stages. I draw the card. Red's got more anger, of course. Blue's got a lot more anger control. Okay, this is interesting. So I don't get to draw the three when I enter combat. That's an advantage that you have. So, but you draw the three before combat. Right. Okay. It's just with that ability, particularly, it's a little different. Okay. Now I get the first attack. How about this? Check this out. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, blue thrusting fist. Oh wait, wait! Didn't did did she have an ability that references the car? Yes. Can you hand me that uh, stack right there? Do I need to put the so car in there? I basically have a stack of um, personality specific cards that we aren't including, and nice. then I definitely I have the car. I got a. Are these in katanas? Yep. Okay. So just put it in and shuffle it in. <laughs> the car. Well, t make sure you don't shuffle the cards. You just <laughs> the car. <laughs> now that's theme. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh man! Doesn't matter if it's uh, you know fun game wise. It definitely makes the most sense theme wise. I'm gonna have to get that car. Yeah, tree throw for Yeah, this makes sense. So if you play non combats, you're often incentivized to skip combat and just rejuvenate. Yeah, because you're you're basically if you put two non combats down, you only have a two hand size. Yeah. Um, and like the ability to get attacks where your opponent can't do anything. Because a lot of the stops, like you've seen, it was like it raised me five power stages when I stopped yeah. you, and in anger. So like entering combat can be very dangerous because uh, you like your opponent stops you, goes up, angers. If I anger on my attack, maybe I, mid combat you can advance stages too. So like if I hit six anger middle of combat, I rage up and I flip into the next version of Piccolo. That's pretty cool. I want to do that. Blue thrusting fist strike. It says physical attack if successful. Combat ends after damage is dealt and remove it from the game. You're ending the combat? Mm -hmm. Son of a... Uh, well, I can't stop it. So I'm at 300,000. I'm at 110. 1,010,000. So you're... I'm F. And I'm D. So F, D. Three stages. You Three plus down two. two yeah? 
plus two, right? Nope, no plus two on this. Okay, so three. See. So I can go two, and then I have to go one more, so I'll discard the top card. Very nice. And then you lose two anger if you've got it. Or one anger, sorry. And this is removed from game. Okay, and that ends the combat? That ends the combat. Okay, so now we both have to discard down to one. Okay. That's a bummer, too, because I had some hurricane cards, Steven. <laughs> I was going to hurricane you. Oh, wait. I'm not. I shouldn't be drawing. All right, over to you then. All right, start of my turn, I draw three. Great. Yeah, Tom, it does. It is, as someone who's never played, this game seems fun but very chaotic. It really. I can already f exactly know how this feels exactly like Dragon Ball Z did. Because it's just like, well, just start fighting and see what happens. I mean, <laughs> well, and, like, and this is our life stack, right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, you, you could burn me through half of my deck and still not be winning, mm -hmm. even though you're ahead, if, like, I'm building something to go crazy. Hmm. Uh, I like that spirit bomb. I have so many questions right now. I'm going to play the red forward stance drill. It's a non-combat card. Uh, it's... Defensive shield stops the first unstopped physical attack performed against me during combat. Um, I also have red coordination drill. It says, allow the defender to draw an extra card at the beginning of any combat if he desires. Um, I'm not sure I, if you can use that card or not. It says the defender, or if it's only me because I played it, and that's one of my questions that I have. We'll see what chat says. Uh, then, this is interesting too. Earth Dragon Ball 6, another <laughs> non-combat card. It, it, it says this card ends a combat and the user is shifted up to, f to full, their full power stage, powered up to full. Shift all opponents' anger levels down two. So I don't know if this happens when I play it mm -hmm. or if when it ends a combat, but obviously I can't use it over and over again. That would be yeah. insane. So I'm curious. you play it out of hand to do that? Maybe. To end a combat? But it's a non-combat card. Yeah. So that would tell me that no, it probably doesn't. This card ends. This is half of the fun of this, man. Ends a combat and the user is powered up to full. Shift all opponents' anger levels down to. So apparently, drills only refer to the player that played them. Okay. So this refers to me. And then this one, because you, you wouldn't want to get rid of this to do this ability. You can't use this every time, surely. Yeah, no mm. way. Sam says each dragon wall has an effect you can choose to use once. You choose when you use it. Okay. And then it stays on the board. Yeah. Right. So we can like tap. And then over if you capture someone's dragon ball, do you get to use it again? I think I remember that being a thing where it's like if you have one on the table that I really want, I can like steal it from you. And you try to do five power levels to do that. Five yeah. uh, cards. Five cards. You do five damage the to uh, them. Okay. Um, That's where the energy attacks come in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, we're on. We're spot on. All right. Great. Well, I will leave number six hanging out. Also, I'm we both for it. we both can't have that in play. Okay. Um, yeah. As you do with Dragon Balls, right? And do, when, do I use that as like my uh, attack action? I assume that was when I would have to use it. It kind of like I'm using my mastery. I well, I figure it was. Um, yes, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that's right. You use it as yeah, your when action. Yeah, you take it. The you, also, when you steal it, you get to use it if you want. Yeah. And if you steal it, you you trigger its immediate effects. Woo! That's really good. Okay. Um, you in combat, I'm buddy? Gonna, I'm gonna rejuvenate. Okay. You'll pick a low punching bag over there. All right, so starting my turn, I draw three cards, yeah? Yep. So that's interesting. So if I stack my deck with defense cards, but then you don't enter combat, then I'm yep. looking at defense cards. That's right. Okay. Man, blue is just annoying. Yep. That's basically it. Story of my life. Oh, yeah, and I power up. I'm over 300,000. Right, so I draw three, then I power up. 1,000, 1,030,000. And then, uh, oh. So when I played this, did it, did I, we use, we resolved this immediately. All foes have their power ratings changed to two stages higher you than could, zero. You could, you could use that whenever you wanted it, though. Yeah, but I did, I used it right when yeah, it came yeah. in, so let's just say it's been used. Yeah. We'll do this. I like that. I already. I also love now you can go get it, you know, because yeah. now it's facing you. The uh, <laughs> I love that the Earth Dragon Balls they all had random art. 
<laughs> like it's, there's not a yeah. Dragon Ball in that. And it has nothing <laughs> to do with the Dragon Ball. Uh, they later did the Namek Dragon Balls, and then Dende was like the guardian of Earth for a while, and he had the Dragon Balls. And so they did different one art and versions, but everything past this actually has Dragon Balls in the picture. Uh, Dende was awesome, I remember that. Okay, so how about we do some of this? I'm going to enter combat. All right. So and when I do, I look at the top six and I draw one. I'm going to go ahead and grab my three. Yep. Yep. Wow. Why is this so good? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why is James crying? Why is James crying? Uh, wow, so this is, you know, this blue deck is really just going to show off how not cool this can get because we're basically, you're just going to stay at your anger level zero the whole game. I don't know if that's true. I'll make it true. <laughs> I'll show you. All right, there, let's. There, there's ways for red to get past that. Let's start off with. And I'm going to draw an extra card for my defense drill. That's going to get pretty saucy. Let's start with a blue smirk. This year, where the first physical does not stop, it stopped. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. All right, what if I did this? I'm going to keep the, the pain train coming. Uh, blue leaving. The card ends combat, and both players skip the discard step. At the end of this turn, remove from the game after use. Wow. We skipped the discard set? Step, yeah, no, oh no discards. Holy moly. <laughs> my turn? <laughs> yeah. Draw three. <laughs> Can you feel the you anger? You know what's interesting about that, though, is that it seems like the blue tactic is like, Maybe I get a bunch of cards in your hand, and then you have to discard down, and now that's like doing seven or eight damage, technically. Yeah. Starting combat and then ending it means that inevitably you're technically losing life. Burning right? through, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. OK. This card ends combat. Uh, yeah. All successful attacks, and that's not an attack, so don't need to worry about it. Hmm. This is going to be crazy. And you kind of just have to let let yourself go on this. I'm sure that you could play it at a, at a high level, but also it's just kind of like, I. there's so many cards. Yeah, you just go. <laughs> I'm going to play Red Wrist Control Drill. For every three stages of power I lose, you lose one. OK. Um, I'm going to play. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> sure enough. I'm going to play Earth Dragon Ball 5. So when I use it, I power up to full. I raise my anger. Two, I draw two cards, and I can place two the top two discarded cards on the bottom of my deck. Okay. It's insane. I'm going to go a row down here. I'm going to make this look nice. Which Remember the picture-in-picture picture up there? Yeah. Top right. Let's go down here. There you go. Let's move this discard pile. That's my remove pile. Don't sleep on the sword. Uh, I also have Earth Dragon Ball 3. Oh, man, this is a builder. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> this lets me draw three cards, and then I can place the top discarded card at the bottom of my deck. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of floating information I'm having to keep track of. I'm keeping it very clean for you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, then I'll power up to 400,000. You going to use it? Am I going to attack? No, you're going to use the ball. I don't power know ball. Or the power ball. The dragon ball. Come on into combat, man. Water's fine. Water's fine. These cards are crazy. Is there a taunt, taunt you card? Your opponent must enter combat? I'm going to enter combat. All right. We're doing it. I'm going to start. If you're going to enter combat, I'm going to start the search the top six thing. Looking for that car, though. <laughs> right? Going digging for a car? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yep. Want that one. I want that one. And one life card of damage. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, nice. I like all these things. Cool. I'll leave them like that. What else you got? You got more floating information for uh, me to keep tracking? I'm going to use Earth Dragon Ball number five. Okay. I raise my anger two. I draw two. And then I can put two cards on the bottom of my deck. Top two on the bottom of my deck. 
Nathan Bradley here saying, I love how this game had multiple ways to win. Level up your anger, defeat your opponent, get all seven Dragon Balls. That was my favorite part of the game. So you're currently a three out of seven on your uh, Dragon Balls there, and you could technically steal one for your, your fourth. fourth. Mm -hmm. I need to get those, uh, steal those Dragon Balls. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? I need, I need. You got like a million cards. Yeah. Uh, let's go into combat. You got your cards and stuff? I got, I'm going to draw one for the ability, and then I'll draw my three. All right. Bring it on. I'm going to play Red Power Rush. I love this card. I also love Kid Gohan being angry. Physical attack doing plus three power stages of damage. This attack cannot be stopped by or prevented by physical combat cards. Raise my anger level one, or remove from the game after use. Cannot be stopped by physical combat cards? Yep. So if I have something that says combat, it would be fine? As long as it doesn't say physical combat. Okay. And it raises my anger level. Okay. It can't be stopped. I can't, I can't do anything about it. Okay, so I'm at 400,000. You're way above me. So you'll just take three stages of damage, and then it gets removed from the game after use. How about the Try to back get you at back into... I uh, remember the first physical mm -hmm. stopped. For randoms. Okay, so if I have a physical combat card like blue backflip, for instance, it says physical combat, stops a physical attack, do some things. Can I only use that to stop an attack, or can I use it as a blank physical combat that doesn't have any bonuses attached I to it? I think you can only use it as a block. Okay. But there are some cards you can, it seems like you can use them both ways. Um... Sam, I, I did gain an anger. Anger's my game. I need Piccolo to get to the next stage so I can fight you at your power level. Toss off my cloak. What would you call the thing he wears on his shoulders? Oh, there's a, uh, you know, there's a good, I'm sure there's a good term for it. It's really, a, it's a cloak to me. Cape, cloak type thing, etc. Let's have an energy combat back at you with my favorite man, Tien, called Blue Terror. Tell me what it does. Energy attack doing three life cards of damage. If you declared Tokui Waza, search your life deck for any one card and place it in your hand. Remove from the game after use. Mm. I'm getting that car. <laughs> Gets the car. What's the car say for reference? The car says if, <laughs> it's so silly. Remove an ally and play from the game. If your main personality is Android 17 or 18, remove two allies from the game instead. I have none. So I can, I guess, run over your allies. But the main thing is having it in play lets you do cool stuff, right? Yeah, that seems important. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take it. So three? Yeah, so does it cost me two power levels? Two power stages, yep. One, two. And then it says energy attack doing three life cards of damage. So three off the top. Yeah. One, looking for endurance. Two, nope. Three. And then it lowers your anger level by one because of blue style mastery. And that's removed from the game. All right. Mine? Yep. I want it. What's your power stage at this point? My power stage is 980. Stage three, technically. Is stage zero, zero? Mm -hmm. Okay, so stage two. Uh, I'm going to play a red reverse punch. Physical attack doing plus three stages of damage. If successful, I also raise my anger level by one. Okay. Uh, well, no way, man. Not this time. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to blue backflip, stop a physical attack. Uh, that's what that is, yeah? Yep. And then place the bottom card of my discard pile on the bottom of my life deck. It's blue betrayal. And then you lose one anger level. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be angrier than this. <laughs> everything's it's fine. It's okay. It's okay, Piccolo. It's okay. Everything's fine. All right. Then we've got. Uh, I can play things that just say combat right now, yeah? Yep. We are in combat. Let's play a blue softening stance. Lower opponent's anger by two and reduce their power stage by two. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, lower my anger by two, and my power stage by two. Mm -hmm. Back down to the 300s. Could have been a contender. <laughs> All right, mine? Mm -hmm. uh, let's... 
<laughs> Matt, Zach, I'm, not, I'm mad I'm not angrier. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Mm hmm. I've got to get that cancel the first physical thing out of here. Is that that defense shield over there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice that they the highlighted it. They red it. forward stance drill. Yeah. Uh, let's go with red shielded strike. It's a physical attack. What's your power level? Our power level is currently 980,000. It won't do anything to you except for it'll make it where you can't play energy combat cards for the rest of the fight. Okay. I didn't want to anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wheel? Um, so can I do the thing that uh, if I do the like final attack, does that only put me out of the round or is that in the combat? That puts you out of fighting. And then I can't play any cards. You can just beat you up You can defend. Me? You can't attack again. Okay. 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 So I can't play energy things. And my first physical, w would this apply to the first physical uh, attack I do, even the final yeah. physical thing? Good. Okay. I want to dump that. That would be the alpha and omega. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Uh, so I want to do the uh, the natural physical attack. And I do that by what? Discarding a card, you said? Well, so you're, I'm physically attacking you. Oh, it's currently. a physical attack. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. OK, yeah, let's so, block that if we can. Yeah, if you don't block it, uh, then you can't play energy attacks for the rest of the round. But if you, it's not doing anything uh, else. If you don't have any energy attacks, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So red shield strike hits. And it doesn't do anything to you, but you can't play. No energy, energy. cards. All right, so now I'll do my natural <laughs> physical attack. How do I do that? So Without it's your card? final physical? Yes. So you discard any card you want. OK. Um, let's discard this card. OK. And so what's your power stage? The power stage is 980,000. So you're one above me, so you'll do two stages. But it'll damage. be canceled, right? Yeah, yeah, it gets canceled. That's right. Buy my red. Oh, you have one you actually want to play. I want to play it real <laughs> bad. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> All right, let's do this one. I'm going to play Red Shattering Leap. It's a physical attack doing plus four power stages of damage. It stays in play to be used one more time in this combat, and then I remove from the game after use. What? It's a physical one? Yep. Oh no. So you get to use it twice. Yep. Oh no. The pain train's coming. Uh, okay. Well, let's uh, let's block one here with the blue big outside drop. Oh uh, my goodness. What's that? <laughs> this changes everything. That doesn't go away after it's used. It literally every round stops the first unstopped physical attack. Forever? Forever. <laughs> Unless you get rid of it like you did with that card earlier. Mm, yeah, I really need to get rid of that one. That is crazy. Ooh. That's where like having this random physical on him. Don't you have a physical here? No. That's my search the dead. Oh, yeah, top, yeah. top cards. So you're basically going to need one to burn every round. All right. Physical combat is stopped, and I raise my anger by one. All right. So then it stays in play, and I can use it again this round. You've created a monster. Mm -hmm. Over to you. I oh, know, over to me. Yeah. But I have used my final combat, so. Back to me. Back to you. We'll do another red shattering leap. You got me. All right, so you're going to take four. Go down to zero? How many stages? So, OK, so one, two, and then three, four. Yep, and that's removed from game. OK. Back to me, I will uh, have to pass. OK. I'll play a red reverse punch. It does plus three stages of damage, and it raises my anger level by one. Ah. Pass. Take three. Take three. Now I'm just <laughs> Piccolo's in the fight. All right. Then you have to pass. I'll use my mastery to remove this from the game and raise my anger by two. Up to four. Then I can't play that. I'll save that. Why are your power level so low? Why is Piccolo crying? <laughs> so we're both at zero. So we're in the scrum then. I, I'm at 300,000. Oh, you're at 300,000. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll use this. Physical attack, choose a card from my discard pile, shuffle into my deck. Um, I'm at 300. You're at zero. Mm -hmm. So consult four. Chart. Four damage? Four damage. Man, having a natural physical attack is really nice. Mm. It also shows you like getting to zero power is like it's a problem. bad. Um, and then I will pass. So we each have to discard down to one. Discard down to one. I got to keep that card, don't I? I don't want to, though. 
I can find it again, right? Ah, oh, whatever. I'll just keep it. All right, then it goes over to me. I draw three. Okay. All right, let's do some non-combat cards. Okay. I'm going to play the car. It's going to remove allies from the game. Do you have any allies or anything I need nope, to worry about? not currently. And then uh, blue stamina drill, and it's going to stop the first physical attack. So you have the same thing I have going. Yeah, and that, that stays there forever. Yep. So we're now just awesome. We just auto-cancel the first physical. So then uh, I'll enter combat. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and draw. You can do your ability. Wow. I get one of these cards. OK. Ooh. Do you have, OK, so you, I, I, there's a Dragon Ball that you've already got. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Also, apparently, if you have a Dragon Ball that's already in play, hit your discard pile, it gets removed from the game. OK. Doesn't really matter. But it, basically, it stops it from being, if you right. can get the top card of your discard pile back, it's an, not annoying you, because you can't play it ever. Oh, yeah, I draw an extra from my drill. So at this point, if I'm at zero power and I play energy attacks, nothing. Re there's no cost to that, really? So. Or would I take so, two damage? To play an energy attack, you have to spend two power stages. You must have them to yeah. spend. But you're going to power up two, worth noting. You so will have two. Power. OK, yeah. OK, OK. I got you. Shadow saying, focus attacks get past defensive shield. What's a focus attack? <laughs> Japan himself says, <laughs> uh, I love and hate these games mechanics. The whole game could be so much better. If you declare it there. OK. OK. I need to get some power levels. Best way to get power levels is cards that just raise them. There's no natural way to do it, yeah? Um, power up, you, yeah. Okay. You should have cards in there that, like, when they hit, they raise you to your max or that kind of stuff. I do. I see, I see one of them. <laughs> one of them here. Yeah. OK, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. That Dragon Ball certainly does it. Number five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember every time, I love that Dragon Ball. So it's like, you see Roshi's face, and you're like, yes. <laughs> OK, here we go. Here we go. All right, I don't need that. OK, so then I draw one, courtesy of my ability. And then uh, it's combat time. Power up. Boop, boop. It's combat time. And then I'll, oh wait, hold on. I'm going to do this slightly differently. Whoop. Put that and if I ever top. get lucky and get Whoop. to stage two, uh, what power stage do I start on? I, I want to say it was max, uh, but I don't remember if that's correct or not. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave. <laughs> oh, no. It's combat, but we skip the discard <laughs> step. Oh, wow. That again? There's a, there's Blue some, leaving. There's some power plays of doing that, and I don't know what they are, but I'm excited about But you, about you them. know that they exist? Oh, hold on. I failed at this again. This is the wrong card to have. Since I'm not discarding, I don't actually want that Dragon Ball. All right, over to you, man. Now, instead of doing that, you can just I want this. not enter combat. No. All right. No. All right. I got ideas. I draw three. Draw an extra card for the drill. Huh? It's, that's mine. I have okay. the uh, allows the defender to draw one extra. Wow. Ooh, nice. All right, I'll play uh, red knee pick drill. Allows the attacker to draw an extra card at the beginning of combat. So now I'm just Piccolo is getting good. Getting feisty. Can you slide that stuff over? What in the world? Yeah, I'll just do this. How about that? There you go. Get your sword on the, don't sleep on the sword. Huh. Just reading. I've got a reader. Uh, hmm. Power up. Power up. 
Yeah, let me see. The blue leaving seems like a much better on the defense in retrospect. Like I attack once and then you just end the combat. And I get those cards going in. It's yeah. super bad. Yeah. And I'm super You're bad. You're getting it. Uh, let's, uh, let's do this thing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Red Eye Laser Assault. Piccolo's rolling in. Physical attack doing plus three power stages of damage. Cost four power stages to do. But it raises my anger two levels. Do you go up? I went to six. All right. So I advance to the next stage. So we're going to go to Piccolo the Champion. And what happens is it somebody said that you lose all your drills when you do that. Is that correct? Holy macaroni. See if that's true or not. <laughs> Matt says Piccolo's building an Iron Man board. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. You lose all your oh, uh, my all your drills. Word, because you're not that version of Piccolo is now a new idea, I guess. Well, that is regrettable. Just the drills, huh? Is that all drills? All of my drills, yes. Whew. Hey, all that, right. That makes sense though, because it like keeps your board clear as you get more powerful, and you have to. That's why you want more copies of these in your deck. You start at full power on your second form. Yep, you you lose your drills, but you set your full power stages to. Are you kidding? Yeah. So I'm, but that's only 1.5 million. Uh, instead of an auto physical attack, he actually has an energy attack. If successful, I draw the bottom card from my discard pile. It must be the first attack I perform during a combat, so I can't okay. use it this round. And the first one's canceled currently from this first physical drill, yeah. Yeah, so it gets canceled. But now I'm ready to party. Wait, that was a what's getting canceled here? The physical attack. Yeah, that is canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, the payment and the anger levels happen either way. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, I remember there was like a, any, a freestyle drill or something. A freestyle. Freestyle. Which you can run, it, it was like a, you can run the rainbow and you keep oh, your in drills. Oh, you were in combat, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do this thing. I'm just going to do the extra and then draw three. It's fine. Hmm. Wow. Can you only steal a Dragon Ball through physical combat? Or is it any time you do five damage? Any time you do five. Okay. <laughs> it's unrelated. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> you want more coffee? Are you are you attacking me? I, I played the attack. Oh, you I, got, I get to it. go back to you. I, I was wondering what the... Uh, Who's laughing now? You were considering, and then you looked up at me like you were waiting on me. I was. Okay, so this is you always want. You always want attacks and defenses and all of that stuff. Well, the bummer is that you... Oh, you're not blocking the first stuff anymore. No, nope, it's gone. But I don't want to go to zero to cast an energy spell or an energy attack. I'm not doing that. This game's tricky. Uh, I'll pass. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So you already stopped the first physical... Oh, you have a stop of physical and a phys energy? Mm -hmm. Lord almighty. I'm, I got drills. Look mm. at all this blonde hair over here. How about this? Use this. Uh, red lightning slash. I will hated this card. Because he played blue and black, and it's all drill based. Physical attack. If successful, I can discard all of the defending defender's allies or drills in play instead of dealing damage. Raise my anger level one. Well, it's going to get stopped. Yeah. Is the if successful part of that attached to all things? Like raising the anger level? The anger level is a separate sentence. That just happens. But the if successful is the drills. All right, let's play some blue evasion. Stop a physical attack, lower your anger by one, raise mine by one. Come on. Come on, man. All right. Dodged it. All right, your turn? My turn. Yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's like these combat rounds are like. Feels like Dragon Ball Z. It's really Pass. quite something. All right. You just let me punch you. I guess. Yeah, this is my um, rope a doping. Yeah, it's Piccolo. All right. I'll play with, I'll play with your, uh, your emotions here. <laughs> That's right. Think uh, you could possibly win. Red Shielded Strike. Physical attack. If successful, you can't play energy combat cards for the rest of the combat. Blue backflip. Stop a physical <laughs> attack. Place the bottom card in my discard pile. 
on the bottom of my life deck. Okay, okay. Lower your opponent's anger by one, which it is It's hardly at zero. It's, you're not mad at all. You're just a, a wall of... I happen to be that this time around. Pass! A pillow wall. Uh, let's see. Let's get into it. What is the bottom? Wow. Uh, I'll do my standard energy attack if successful. So it costs me two stages. To get canceled there? Oh, devil. Yeah. Yeah, the drills are tough. I'm going to guess it was a needed mechanic if I'm guessing how the game developed. Well, so the thing is, if you power, if you, if I was at like stage three, if I get to stage three and you're at one, it's going to be a problem for you. Mm -hmm. So you, you almost have to advance stages. And if you're advancing stages, your drill's clear. Mm -hmm. But the goal of your blue deck is to keep us on the same stage. Yeah. Um, Sailed heartily. Yeah. Uh, let's try it. I'm going to play a red energy disc. It costs me two. And it says cost three stages to use. So it's three. If it specifies, it's not plus two. Mm -hmm. But it gets canceled from your drill. Okay. I'm going to come get you. Mm, okay. All right, I, I can get into this. Ah. Ah. Uh, how about some of this? Send a blue thrust and black blast back at you. I'm going to lower this by two to do it. Finally enters the fray. Energy combat. Energy attacks dealing five life cards of damage. It's successful. My main personality's power level is considered plus two until the end of my next turn. Oh, plus two when we're calculating. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to play red energy shield. Stops an energy attack. Raise any personality to their highest power stage. Uh, and remove from game after use. That seems good. So it just stops it. So it wasn't successful. Uh, then I'll use my standard energy attack, uh, and if successful, cost me two because it doesn't say, and it would do four life of damage. If successful, I get to draw the bottom card of my discard pile. You did it. Oh, I can't do it. It has to be the first thing. I oh, right have on. to keep reading. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they don't put that at the beginning. <laughs> no. Well, Seems important. <laughs> Let's do my final. Oh, plus two power up rating. Mm. Oh, cool. So I'll power it for four rather than two. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm going to use my final physical attack. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to use my red style mastery. Remove this from the game. Anger level two. Use the old blue awakening. Reduce anger by two of your opponent. Place the top three cards in my discard pile on the bottom. <laughs> I'm over you, blue. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. All right, your action. Um, I'll use my final physical attack. It's, an, it's a Dragon Ball, so it's removed from game, right? Yep. When I discard it. Uh, does it even do anything? It wouldn't. It wouldn't do anything, would it? You just run into the wall. All right, well, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm capable. I'll pass. Yeah, you're just on the ground. You can't really attack me. Yeah. Um, so I will go ahead and use my final physical attack. Uh, discarding here, and I'm at 1.5 million to your zero. I'm gonna stop it. Stop it. Blue evasion. Stop a physical attack. Raise my anger one. Re reduce yours by one. Not that that matters. I'm over you, blue. You gotta what watch you out. I'm You're three. One, three. Yeah. You only need to get five. Do I? Can I discard down to zero? Yeah. Okay. Totally. Dragon Ball is gone. Uh, and I'll keep this one. So okay. your turn. Start of the turn. Draw three cards. Okay. And don't forget this turn you'll power up four levels. So I draw three, then I power up? Yeah. Yep. One, two, three, four. Back to a million where I like to be. Drills are ready. Um, something about arms, weak, knees. <laughs> something. Arms, weak, knees, etc. Mom's. Enter combat. Mom's spaghetti. One, One two, three, two. four, five, six. I think if I rewatch Dragon Ball Z now, which I think I should, I would like Vegeta way more than I liked him as a kid. I love Piccolo. Cards that attach to my main personality will tell me that they did that, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Knees weak. Palms are sweaty. There it is. Bottom on his sweater already. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. I want this. I want these Sam guys. Sam says, Vegeta is still an arrogant word I won't say on stream. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do uh, this. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome cards. Okay. <laughs> then I draw the top. Yeah, so my goal, oh, hold on. my goal is someone combat. who owns these cards. Like, I basically wanted to build a generic deck for every style that you could just, if I was ever playing this, someone could pick their favorite character and immediately go. Uh, these are my first time using them, so hopefully they're, I was building, you know, when you're building decks not having play, but you need a deck to play, it's a weird situation. Because it's been like 15 years since I've, tw it's, it's been, been 20 years since i played, maybe 18 years. Okay, now let's get it done. Um, you've got four cards over there, yeah? Mm-hmm. I wonder if you have anything that stops a uh, energy attack here. You never know. My drill's gone, so I don't get to fire. Well, let's try one. Let's play... Blue Energy Blast. Energy attack, six life. If successful, discard any cards attached to your main personality, which there aren't any, removed from the game. Yep. Okay, and so you cost me two, two stages. Yep. I'm going to play Red Sidekick. Yajirobe getting in there with some corn. Stops the foe's <laughs> energy attack. <laughs> Yikes. Did you have to pay? You don't have to pay for that, right? Nope. Okay. Ouch. Uh, I'll use Piccolo's standard. Piccolo the champion, he has a power energy attack, so it costs me two stages. This thing. Yeah. And then I get to draw the bottom card of my discard pile. How about that? How about that? What's up with your... Uh... Okay. All right. All right. All right. I love the flavor texture on Piccolo the Champion. He says, not bad for an early prototype. Talking about you. <laughs> Literally. Um, uh, yeah, let's do a... Uh, I don't want to waste my power levels. <laughs> what is well, up with this? This is the game. You've hit, you've hit it. I need more power levels. You need things that power you up. How do I get more power levels? All of my stuff is reducing your anger, and it's zero. It's always zero. How about a blue thrust <laughs> fist strike? Blue thrusting fist strike. It makes me as angry as it makes you that Physical I'm not angry. Physical attack. If successful, combat ends after damage is dealt. What's your power stage? 980. Can I hurt you if you're stronger than me at all? You won't do any power stage unless it does plus, but it doesn't. But okay. it would end combat, which I think is your goal. I don't have anything else to do here. Oh, it was stopped. Because I stopped that attack, you don't draw that whatever card from the bottom of your deck or whatever it was. Oh, really? Oh, is it save successful? Yeah, probably. Yep, it does. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Got a reader. Um, I'll play red knee strike. Stop the foe's physical attack. Raise my anger by one. Hmm, now I got something to do. Now you do got something to do. <laughs> um, do I even... I'll play a red knife hand. Physical attack doing plus three stages of damage is successful. Raise card user's anger level one. This thing? Is that physical? Mm -hmm. Wasting my time. I've got training. Uh, pass. No, I'll do my... No, there's no reason to do the final physical. I'll pass. Uh, I'll use this. Remove the top card. Raise my anger level by two. We're up to three. Don't you dare let me get to stage three. Well, I just if I just keep going down power levels, it's not going to be worth much, is it? Uh, I'm doing it, though. Energy combat. Going to zero. It's called blue glare attack. I'm staring at you intently. Just an energy attack, but if you declared uh, the thing which I did, lower opponent's anger by three. Mm -hmm. You got it. Right. Back to zero. Uh, I'll pass. Uh, you know what? I'm going to final physical. 
Because you're at zero, right? Yeah. I'll final physical. How many cards is that? My 1.3 million. <laughs> six. Six, yikes. Three, four, five, six. Okay. And I'm out of combat now. Was this your turn or my turn? This is my turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's no point in physically attacking you, right? No. All right. So I'll pass. All right. Uh, my turn? Yeah. I draw three. Did these, these are per combat, yeah. Hmm. Basic energy attacks always deal four cards. That's right. So even the one, the, the glare that reduced your anger level by three, four you always cards. discard four. Yeah. Well, choose your choose your favorite ones. Well, I'm gonna discard the four that would have been discarded. Oh, and did you just do six? So you get to steal a Dragon Ball. Oh yeah. And I think you immediately use it. I can use it, right? I think you have to immediately use it. Was the last thing that I saw. I'm not powering you up. It powers you up to two. Oh, cool. You get two stages. I'll give it to you. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. But I'm gonna put we'll it sideways because it. it's technically your card. Yeah. So I've got three. Five, six, two. Two, three, five, six. Hmm. We're almost there. That's a bummer that you hit me, because I had a I had a Dragon Ball coming up that was gonna power me up. Power up. Power up. We'll see if, if that's true from the old chat. Okay. Let's uh go into com no wait. I'm gonna use this. Draw three cards, Earth Dragon Ball 3, draw three cards if you wish and place the top discarded card at the bottom of your deck. So I'll draw three. It's a choice. Uh, no, wait. Different. Different. Oh, you have to, wait. Different, uh, different opinions on this one. Like, maybe you have to choose to either use it or never get the chance to never use it again. Never get the chance? Yeah. So let's just say you didn't use it, yeah? Oh, Sam says if you mill a Dragon Ball and it's not in play, it goes to the bottom of your deck. OK. It's not in play. What's in, in play? Five is in play. Yep. So that goes removed from game, yeah? I also had a seven discarded that should be on the bottom. Three right? and four are not in play? No, three is in play. So if it goes to the bottom of your deck, that's crazy, because at the end of each game, you might be able to pull out a Dragon Ball victory that's as cool. like one of your last cards. OK. Last ditch Dragon Ball victory. And then you're entering combat? Um, well, I drew, I drew cards first with Dragon Ball 3, so I'm going to play some non-combat. Okay, yeah, you have to choose to use it if you want at the moment of capture. That makes sense. Oh, okay. wait, you're deciding. So I combat. won't. Uh, I'll play a red reading drill. <laughs> Foreknowledge allows the personality to take one less life card damage once for the entire set of combat rounds. So each combat I can reduce by one. I have a red hunting drill. Once per combat, after performing a successful physical attack, I can choose a card in my discard pile and shuffle it into my deck. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to play Earth Dragon Ball 1. Uh, when I use it, I can instantly power up to my full and draw a card. Nice. Which I don't need, but you need. I need desperately, yes. <laughs> desperately. Uh, then we'll go to combat. So you get to do your ability. OK. Like I need this card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have all these energy cards that I can't use, so I need a solution to that problem. How, what is this? Is there a solution to that problem? You power up technically, like always, and then just sit there. Oh, you should have powered up four last time. Did you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I played two energy attacks. Yeah. Uh, the real solution is getting the anger level to five. Yeah, but to do that, I've got to. Uh, I usually have to uh, hit with stuff, right? Oh, because it'll power me up immediately. Yeah, yeah. you'll go crazy if you can get your angle level. I have nothing but energy attacks, though. That's just a bad news beats. <laughs> I, the decks have similar energy and physical attack counts. Well, I just I just can't go. I can't get low on power ever. That's what I'm thinking. So at this point, I can't play any energy cards. Do you have Dragon Ball Seven over there? Yep. Nope, I don't. I have. Three, one, two, three, five, six. Four and seven are what's missing. OK. Uh, let's do this. All right. I'm ready. Combat begins. All right. Uh, first thing I'll do is 
very annoying. I'll spend two energy because this has to be the first thing that I do, but it auto fails because you're a drill. Right. Those defensive shields are crazy. Tenets. They they are good. And then over to me, mm -hmm. I will do nothing. Pass. Okay. Uh, let's play. Actually, hold on. I will not do nothing. I'll do. How many cards you got in your hand there? Four. I think I can do this. It says, Earth Dragon Ball 7 says, play this card during combat to end the battle. Mm, I think you can do that. Hit I me mean, with it. That's considered do? using the Dragon Ball, I imagine, right? Yeah. Um, pick three cards out of your discard pile, place them at the top of your life deck. All opponents' anger levels shift down two. That's fantastic. So, I just got to get out of here. Yeah, yes, because I was about to unleash <laughs> fury on you. <laughs> All right, I like that one. And I'll have to discard all but one. I'm looking for anything that's going to increase my uh, my anger. Or... And... Yeah, if you can sneak out two anger, it would be awesome. Like cards. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, for the ranger, yeah. Yeah, Azeroth Sand, you can play it from hand for sure. But now there's only one missing Dragon Ball. So if I can capture that and get the other Dragon Ball, it's GG. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. We've already got that drill. Okay. So I get to put uh, three cards at the top of my uh, life deck. I want this one and this one. And I want uh, this one. That's right. Mm, yes, want this one. OK, so these go on top. Everything else is in the discard pile. The order, I think, matters, but it here, we, matter. here we are. Uh, so then you have a Dragon Ball in play. Okay, and Dragon then Ball. it ends combat. I discard it down to one. You'll have to do the same. Discard down to one. Okay, we'll do these. Okay. And now we go to uh, lower, lower, lower. Uh, I'll keep this one instead. Okay, and then we go to me. I get three cards. As I was saying, this is awesome. He says, I wanted to say I watched the Raw Deal stream, and it sent me down a huge rabbit hole of nostalgia. I even got a few fr friends to I used to play with back together, and we've been playing every week. That's awesome. That's fantastic. That's, That's so really cool. awesome, yeah. It's it's so cool seeing all these uh, older games that I've been collecting for these throwbacks because it's like you kind of stop paying attention to a game when it's not active anymore. But the truth is, like, there's a lot of really great games out there that we've been playing that, like, are just as fun to play now as they ever were. I'm going to enter combat. Oh, boy. Did you power up? Yes, I did. Power up. Okay, okay, yes, and yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, blue, I, I feel like when you start knowing what you're doing with blue, you can just dictate the terms of an entire game. It's probably not a good starter faction. Yeah. Okay, I got the first attack, eh? I don't know that any of them feel that way. Like, when you start doing it, it's like, it's definitely not the, like, easiest... Uh, it's not complex, really, but like trying to get your deck to do what it needs to do. There's a lot of sequencing. What's up? Let's do this. You're just going to block it, right? You're just going to block it. Let's do the old, uh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, let's do the old big uh, blue shoulder wheel. Blue shoulder wheel, physical attack. Plus one stage of damage, if successful, raises your anger by one, lowers your foes by one. All right. I'm going to play red shifty maneuver. Gohan just leaning back. Stops the physical attack. If I declare it a to toku wazi, waza, raise my anger level one and discard a drill in play. Woo! Which one? Uh, let me see. The one that cancels an energy attack. Energy. OK. All right, mine. Let's use my energy attack. 
Uh, it costs me two stages, and if successful, uh, I draw the bottom card of my discard pile. And I lose four. Uh, this is, yeah, four cards. Power level one there. Okay. Uh, he must have a big energy attack coming in somewhere, yeah? So that's fine. I'll lose four. Okay. And then I'll draw the bottom card of my deck, or my discard pile. And then over to me. You got it. Well, let's do the old uh, blue smirk. <laughs> Physical attack plus four stages of damage. If I declared uh, specialization, lower your anger by two. Mm. Technically by three because of blue specialty. All right, I'm taking it. What's your power level? Power level is currently 980. Mine's also 900,000, so it'll be five total stages. Four plus the standard is one. Is that that's still a Dragon Ball? No, five, if you do five uh, uh, cards. cards. That's right. So now I'm down to zero, which might make it easier for you to do that. Now, on your energy attack, do I lose stages first, or is it straight from the deck, right? It's straight always from the from deck. The deck. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go with my first physical is canceled, so that's fun. Um, Coming in, the water's fine. I'm going to do a red face strike. Uh, <laughs> it gets canceled because it's physical. You know, I'm going to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass. OK. I will do a uh, red palm heal strike. It's a physical attack doing plus three stages of damage. Um, it's canceled. That raised my anger. All right. Blue evasion. Stop physical, lower opponent's anger by one, raise mine by one. Bummer. I'm working so hard for that anger. <laughs> I know. He works hard for the anger. I'll pass again. Um, whose turn is this? I did. I, yeah. I went into combat, okay. yeah. <laughs> that's a tough part to remember, actually. <laughs> um, this uh, reminded this stream is brought to you by Nalgene Water Bottles. That's right. The biggest water bottles, the most resilient water bottles on They're the planet. They're not really our sponsor. Made of food grade. Uh, I'm using my mastery. Food grade? Pesticide free plastic or whatever it is. I use my mastery to get to three anger. That's it? That was my action. You just get to g get anger? Well, I removed the top card of my deck to go two anger levels up. Piccolo is pretty angry. That's fair. You're currently at zero. Yep. So what would a what would a physical attack do to you? Mm. Let me see if I can just turn the chart. 900,000? Yeah. So I'm E and you're A. So you do five? Mm hmm Oh. So I can discard a card and potentially steal a Dragon Ball here. Now, you know I have the red reading drill, which lets me reduce it by one. Ah, uh, there you go. That's what he needed. I'll pass. It's not good enough. <laughs> not good enough, says Steven. Uh, I also, I think I can use the Earth Dragon Ball 1 at any time, which is instantly power up to my max and draw. I don't know. Seems like. Do it I have, doesn't do say I have to do that as my. Does it? So it's a non combat card, but the Dragon Balls are in a weird category of mm, like, you mm -hmm. can choose when to use this ability. Can't. Yeah, can you only use the Dragon Balls in non-combat situations if they say non-combat on the card? That's a good question. I'll let that. Yeah, I'll use a marker to keep track. That makes sense. Use a Forgotten Age token here. Boom. Because that obviously isn't super relevant. I'm, I would probably do a final physical if I can. Wolfie's saying Dragon Balls are used immediately when played. That's not what we heard earlier around the block. <laughs> yeah, that's how old games work, man. Well, me and my friends played it this way, so... Let me just look real quick. Look at the errata. The rules. The rules that I got. Dragon Ball effect happens immediately when you play them. Yeah, that's good. Good, to, good information. Okay. Well, that's, that's really helpful to know, actually. All Apparently, right. there's some that don't. It's cool. Uh, we will say it has been used. Like this one that ends combat, I assume that one can't be immediate. Well, you play, do you play, have to play it out of Does, your hand? It doesn't no. say that. Hmm. How would you ever know that? Does it have to say instantly? Does that instantly keyword mean Does say instantly. that it happens right when you play it? Apparently maybe? six is the unique one. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Well, here we go. All right, yeah, I'll pass. 
Everyone's passing? Yep. Everybody was passing. I'm going to go ahead and draw. All right. There it is. And then it's your turn. Yep. Thank you for that. You're welcome. So if, if we don't enter combat, do we still do the thing where we discard down to one? Like at the end of combat, is it an end of combat thing or an end of turn thing is what your question yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me look. Some set up delayed triggers. All right, well, we'll believe I, it as we go. I, I think I would discard even if I don't declare combat. That's interesting. It kind of wants you to fight, right? Mm -hmm. It wants you to fight. So you probably only don't declare if you have a bunch of non-combat cards. Yeah. Let's play a red forward stance drill. That cancels the first uncanceled physical. That must be fun. You get it. Uh, power up three. I could see this game having some very degenerate decks. It definitely could. <laughs> but we never had enough cards to do that, right? <laughs> yeah. We were working on like half booster boxes sometimes. <laughs> People saying they forgot how underpowered the early masteries were. Nice, Tom. Tom says, public service announcement for those ordering stuff from Team Covenant in parentheses, you really should. Uh, currently taking two weeks to deliver to the UK. Pretty good, he reckons, under the, the corona stances. That's very good. Um, Glad to hear it. Hats off to USPS on that one. We get them in the mail as fast as we can, but it's the real heroes at the postal, postal service that make that happen. Let's... Pass on combat, so top card goes to the bottom. And then... And discard? Discard down. Well, that's an easy three damage for Steven. Woo! Well, I get to keep one. So then my turn, I draw three? Yep. I'm going to do this. Power up for two. I'm up to a mill. Power up. Sam says, optimized sand style decks are degenerate. You get like six attacks a turn and just drill your opponent into the floor. That sounds about right. Andrew says, scores masteries usually have one effect. Uh, Pan Paninis tend to do multiple things. Blue Trunk Saga is one of the weakest. That's yours. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Okay. Yeah. OK. Then we go to the phase where I have to make a decision. I'm going to enter combat. I've got all these cards that say combat on them. All right. Three, four, five, six, per my ability. I want to draw this one. And then I'll draw these. As we go. Piccolo. I want to look at this Gohan. I wanted I never got this this Gohan until now. You've been wanting it that long. Mm -hmm. Wow. Welcome to adulthood. Yep. All right, my first attack. Are well, you ready? It was just because you couldn't find it. It was like no no one I knew opened a starter and got the the cell saga Gohan. Boom. Blue total resistance. Oh wait, we're in combat? Yeah. I haven't drawn yet. Okay, go ahead. Blue total resistance. Choose a drill and play, remove it from the game. I gain two power levels and I raise my anger one level. Remove from the game. Wow. Okay. So choose a drill and play. What's the one that you like the most? Is there a cancel uh, one? This is minus one card damage. This is, I get a search. Uh, if I f make a successful physical attack, I can choose a card in my discard pile and shuffle into my deck. And this stops the first um, unstop physical. That's really good. Let's stop that one in. Remove it from the game. Ugh. And then uh, I get two power level, and it's not going to matter because I increase my anger by one, <laughs> causing me to power <laughs> up. <laughs> and when you start yelling. And <laughs> at 18, the model. Nice. She so has her nice pearl necklace now. And her new ability, which is nice, I don't have to keep searching my deck, no modifiers are added to physical attacks performed against Android 18. So like anything that says plus three yeah, damage or anything? Yeah, that's crazy. Well, that's good. Look at what you've done. You're a monster, Zach. Piccolo, you're a monster. Oh, and you lose, you lose your drills. Oh, right on. 
your max power level is still way higher than mine in, in Piccolo the Champion. That's cool. So he starts out a little weaker, and on stage two he's stronger. And they they did that I a lot. I kind of remember that in the yeah. in the show he's too. Very very calm at first, and then he gets angry, and then he gets outmatched. Because that's just what always happens. All right, well bring it on now. Come on, come on with you. Well, that's a bummer, dude. Um... Awesome, awesome, Chris. Good to see you on uh, on YouTube. Oh, man. It's the thing where it's like, how far down this... Dude, now I can just unload energy attacks. Yes. I ag agree with your stance. <laughs> or I can just stay strong, and your physical attacks are worthless. How interesting. What a mechanic. Um, what am I at? Renders here? a lot of your Three? deck worthless. Okay. Huh? Yeah, okay. Let's go here. It's kind of a gamble. You know what I mean? Let's go red energy blast. Energy attack. So I lose two stages. Uh, remove if, remove one of the defender's allies or drills in play from the game. Uh, raise my anger level one. So you don't have any allies or drills. That's fine. The energy attack is going through. All right, four damage. One. Isn't it crazy seeing all this old two, art? Three. Yeah, it's awesome. Up from this, Four. this show. All right, over to me, eh? What up, Tom? Uh, I don't know. I have a bigger deck, so technically I'm winning on that score. Uh, Andrew says, Judge the Piccolo level up and keep his drills. I have not leveled up and kept my drills. They definitely got discarded. Uh, so really, What's a case. focused energy attack? Is that Focus means they can't be blocked. Oh. Or they, they can't be blocked by drills, apparently. Right, can't be blocked by drills. Right on. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. So let's do a blue energy arrow going down to power levels to. to I remember play putting it. this in the deck and thinking, this is awesome. It's focused. Do three life cards of damage. If successful, remove the top 10 cards of your opponent's discard pile from the game. That's a bummer. Seems like good against Sands, yeah? Uh, okay, it is successful. So I'll trigger this to make it minus one. Mm -hmm. So I'll take two. And then, after those two are taken, the top ten get removed from the game. Right on. Into my secondary discard pile. I bet that was a meta answer to some things that were going on in this one. You can't loop it forever. Just keep I can looping. Just remove it. Yeah. All right. So that hits. That's it. That's right. All right. Uh, and that goes away. It I'll sure use does. my red style mastery. Remove the top card of my deck from the game. Two anger levels. We're going. We're going six. to stage. Got to be it, six. It was a six. It does. I went to from four to six. Well, I got news for you. What's up? Whenever I hit with an attack, you lose one anger level. An energy attack? A blue attack. Any oh no. Attack, so yeah. now I'm at five. Yeah. Or you just don't you don't have to play the card if you don't want to. It was my mastery. So let me see if I want to do that. <laughs> I forgot to go down. Oh no. I forgot about that, yeah. <laughs> I had an answer. All right, let's go. Red Lightning Slash. It's a physical attack. I'm under your power stage, so it won't do anything, but it does raise my anger level one. You can see why I'm trying to do mm -hmm. that now. You're trying to get to the zone. Uh, and if successful, I can get rid of one of your drills, but you don't have any, so I assume you just let this fly. Yeah, is it energy attack? Physical attack. Physical attack, yeah. But it's doing nothing to you. I'll, I'll take it. Well, you know what? That's a good question, actually. What up, Andrew? Uh, it says, cool, watching it work, so I missed a bit. Could we get a deck check comparison? Uh, just that comparison. I'm running red, so it's like anger based, trying to level up stages. Steven's running blue, so he's trying to control me and like stop me from angering out. Blue thrusted blast. Uh, energy attack doing five life cards of damage is successful. Uh, I get plus two power up until my next turn. Red sidekick. Woo! Here comes the corn. It stopped. Now you can do it. Now you can level yeah, it yourself. Then up. I'll master you. Remove that from the game. Go into the next stage. We have Piccolo the Destroyer coming in. And if you get to in. four, you win? Let's stage four? Yep. Cool. Okay. Uh, Piccolo the Destroyer, he's at three million power at his max. That's big. He has a physical attack doing plus six stages, which won't matter against you. If successful, I draw the bottom card of my discard pile. Power up rating now of three. Uh, mm. So he's getting feisty. Well, hello. But the pluses don't matter. Everything's made up, and the pluses. Oh, that's don't right. Matter. That's exactly what I was thinking. Um, you have one card left. People want to see your sword. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here, so you can get a feel for how. You've got no anger. 
No anger. I just angered out. But I am now mm. physically crazy. You are physically what's, crazy. What's your Android Stage 3 called? I want to see what the power level is on Android that. 18, the machine, is 1.5 million. Hmm. It's an but it has an energy attack that does seven life, and if the car is in play, it does three power stages of damage as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. I need, to get, I need to get to the chopper on that one. I will not have time to get there. <laughs> uh, let's do a blue stomach eruption on the off chance that I'm canceling a big physical attack. It doesn't do anything to you, but it will cancel all uh, physical attacks for the remainder of combat. Oh, I can't do anything about it. No right. more physical. Well, oh, and this goes away. These go away. That's right. Uh, I'll pass. All right. I will uh, also pass. All right. And that was your combat? That was my combat, yeah. All right. My turn? You leveled up on my combat. Round three. How does that feel? Uh, I'll play a red energy drill. It'll stop the first unstopped uh, energy attack against me. Cool. Man, all my physical attacks are just not as good against you. Yeah, I think that's the thing. That's so. That's a bummer. You're still dropping me to. Uh, dropping me to power level. Nothing. I'm only at three million. Okay, at three million particularly at my top level is the only one this matters. But once I go one down. I only do one extra stage to you because the difference between one million to one million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine <laughs> is one is, stage. Is okay. Yeah, at that point. So, so that's an easy way to, to think about it. Okay. So right now you'd be doing two damage to me. Yeah, but I can't plus modifier though, so it's really hard to deal with you now. Yeah. Okay. My defensive powerhouse. Um, I'm almost out of deck though. Yeah, you are running low. I will. I guess we'll go into combat. We're going to go into combat. Mm, okay. Silver Foil says, definitely getting nostalgic feelings watching this. What's the scoop on the Panini? So Panini did a reboot in 2014 that has apparently been critically well received. Uh, so if you're interested in playing a game very much like this, that might be a good place to start. Karn or Dragon Ball? What could go wrong? Apparently, by the way, making your opponent level up was another strategy to get rid of all their drills. Like oh, like, yeah, cool. You somehow like force them into powering up. I like that. I dig it. Did You you powered up, right? You did all that stuff? Yeah, I was at max because I maxed out on your turn. And I can't forget this. I'm going to put this into play just because I'm plus two next time I do it. Yeah. Uh, okay, first attack. Good luck, Piccolo. Bring it on. Yep. Uh, we'll do a physical attack. It's technically, this is a red power punch, so it would be plus two, but your ability makes it plus zero, so it would just be a two stage attack. Two stage drop. I'll take a two stage drop because I've got to. All right. Then uh, that prevents the first energy. Yep. Gross. Denied. Still got to pay for it, though. Get to the chopper. All right, let's try a blue thrusting fist strike. If it's successful, it's going to end all combat. There's something going on there. I'm not, I know I'm that, not sure exactly how it's supposed to go. This would be an awful deck to play against if you could do it well. Uh, I can't stop it, so I'll take zero stages, but the turn ends. Yeah. This card here. And then you lose an anger if you had one, but nope. I don't recognize. So you. So basically, you can keep me, ideally, you keep me at stage one. Mm -hmm. is step step one on the macro on the blue, just for future reference. And I discard some things right here? Yeah, down to one. And then if you have all these things that hit me and also in the combat, you get the last word on all these combats. Yes, I so see what I'm supposed to be doing. That should be a pretty, like you could just slowly, it's kind of your deck, because it's like you're making small exchanges. You'll give me one attack that you probably stop with a drill, then you'll play a card and force the combat to end, but you're the only person that got to hit anything. And I also, I think I've got, I think I've got, uh, I think I've got some, some play here. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, up to one million, one five. It's over one million. And I'm going to play a blue neck restraint drill. I think this is a critical card. Allows the attacker to inflict plus three stages of damage from any successful physical attack. Cannot be used with any of their blue drills on play, on the table. Nice. That's crazy. So like you could do plus three damage, cancel the combat, and then lower your anger by one, and then go to the next round. Basically, yeah. that kind and of stuff. And you just keep that going the whole time. Yeah, that's super good. And you have our ability filtering up front. Mm -hmm. So like whichever one you don't, whatever pieces you don't have, you just fish out. All right. So then I get to either go into combat or not. You're currently at one. 
Um, and if I stop now, I don't get to. I, I have to discard these cards. Gross. I see. Okay, okay, okay. Isn't this so? This is two thousand. Think about that for a second. This is interesting, man. This was coming out it, in it. I was gonna, well, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, it's, it, it's fun for me to think about this compared to Flesh and Blood. That's exactly what I was saying. So I've got like four cards. Some of them are defensive, some of them are offensive. You also have a light stack in the bottom of your deck yeah, play going on? Yeah, a little bit of the stacking of the deck. But if, Flesh and, if you look at Flesh and Blood as a super refined version of this, it's very different. Yeah. But a super refined version of it, it's like there's some concepts here that are floating around. Well, and it's like the, dr dueling thing. the drills that are coming to play are kind of like your armor, right? Yeah. But like in Dragon Ball Z, thematically, it makes it makes sense because you couldn't port just, this directly to Flesh and Blood because in Flesh and Blood you start with armor and go down, mm -hmm. and like you get worse. They always power up through the fight. Yeah, they get better. So you could imagine a, a, the opposite version in like a Flesh and Blood system where as you're going, you're you're getting uh, stronger. Like you basically flip the script. It's interesting. I don't want to. I don't want to give you anything. I don't want to give you anything. Uh, I'm going into combat though. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to draw. Okay. Hmm. So if uh, I get the anger six, by the way, it's we're out of here. Game over. If I get two more Dragon Balls, we're out of here. All right. Well, uh, let's go. Let's start with a uh, focused energy attack, a blue energy arrow, so that doesn't get blocked by your drill. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go down two modes, and then uh, does three life cards of damage, and remove the top ten in from the game. Discard power from the game. I can't stop it. All right. So I'll discard can't three. Can't stop, won't stop. And then remove the top ten. It goes quick, though. Like, yeah, it does. Once, once you know what's going on. It's, it does. It's, I can see this going really quick. I remember Will and I just jam it. Okay, what, uh, my turn? Yep. Uh, let's go Red Shattering Leap. That's a great card. It's plus four, but it doesn't matter because you have Android 18, the model. <laughs> uh, so it's just a physical attack, and then it stays out, and I can use it again this round. Okay. And it, uh, it'll it do, what, two damage? Yep. I'm at one, one? Yeah. Yeah, as long as you're at a million, it's going to be two. Okay, I'll take it. All right. And I'll stay here, and I can use it again. What up, Nicholas? Uh, I have a deck for red, blue, orange, and black style masteries. All right, let's try a physical attack. Mm -hmm. I'm going to discard and just do a final physical. Okay. And I think this allows me to inflict plus three stages of damage from any successful physical attack. Totally. Okay. And I can't stop it. So it would normally be zero. Yeah. But it's plus three. Mm hmm. Which is nice because now I'm at 2.4 million, which is only going to be one stage of damage until I get you to zero. Mine? Yep. I'll do another red shattering leap. Just a slog here. One, uh, one stage of damage, it gets removed from the game. All right. Pass. I'll use my red style mastery to gain two anger. Let's play the old blue softening stance. <laughs> minus two anger, minus two power stages. Nice. That'll actually be relevant. Working you down. Right. Softening you as we speak. Uh, I'll do his power. This is Piccolo the Destroyer. The physical attack would be plus six power stages of damage. <laughs> That's nuts. Uh, but it, so a physical attack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does one? does one stage of damage. Draw the I, bottom That's kind of cool. It kind of feels like... I remember Android being really annoying. Well, it's like they weren't... Doing just much, they just couldn't do anything couldn't to him. him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, am I good? Mm. We'll go red palm heel strike. It would be plus three, but it's only one, and raise my anger one. You got me. You can imagine if you didn't have that right now, I would be like just blowing me up, destroying yeah. you. Um, you have no cards in hand. Nothing. Yeah. I'll play. Getting beat up. Let's, I'm one away from zero power, team. It's a bummer, dude. Let's go mm -hmm. red, red eye laser assault. 
Uh, physical would do plus three. It cost me four power stages. Getting down. Uh, so it's going to do one power stage, and I'll raise my anger two. Do equal power stages like hurt each other for one always? Yep. yep. Okay. If we're in the same. Down bucket. to zero. Okay. Um, Now's the time. I could technically play that. And you power up for four? Every time? That's good. I won't power up on your turn, though. Right. So that's fun. Um, let's risk it. I'm going to play red energy. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Red energy disc. Yeah. Energy attack doing six life cards of damage. It costs me three stages, so I go down to zero. But I also get to steal this bad boy. I almost got them all. I'm one away. Uh, and it raises my anger by one, so now I'm at four. Mm. So I have a few victories looming. Uh, and then this will go. A lot of win conditions. And it's your turn. Pass. I will also pass. This goes to you. So if I can find Dragon Ball number four, or gain two anger. So I always have this two anger thing. So if we go into combat and you don't lower my anger first, that's a problem. Well, it's going to be a problem. Uh, play a non-combat uh, Blue Cradle Drill, and then uh, then I do a, uh, a pass. What do I do when I don't go into combat? You rejuvenate. So this goes to the bottom of your deck? Just the top one? Yep. Okay. And then you still have to discard down to one. Yeah. Okay. And then it's my turn. Yeah. All right. Draw three. Red, it says red energy disc lowers the opponent's anger, doesn't raise your anger, is that right? Yep. Okay, so I should only get three. That's good. Ball seven trigger. Is that the in combat ball? Yeah, I don't think I have to trigger it though when I steal it. Mm, right, it's just optional. Mm -hmm. People it wouldn't matter. It was the last thing I did. All right, I'm going to play red rolling drill. Prevents a life of damage when it would happen. And then. I'm going to pass. All right. So we'll discard. I had a. I drew a Dragon Ball that was already in play. So that, and I had non-combat. It's not exactly. Do you discard and then do you put the thing on the bottom for rejuvenate, or do you rejuvenate and then discard? Mm. You discard and then you rejuvenate. Oh, cool. So we'll do that. Which is interesting because you could so basically you can stack the bottom of your deck. It's nice. got some w almost flesh and blood elements, right? Yeah, I'm seeing it. All right, let's see. Well, this is weird. How, how are you getting card? You're drawing one extra card somehow. Is that I, the, that was way earlier? Not anymore. But that's his ability is it's always letting attack. you get a yeah. new one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, Look how big his arms are in that art. He's power up. Swole. I guess I'll I'll go. Let's go combat. You're at zero now. Zero power. Right stage, now? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Let's start with, well, let's see what you can do. Um, let's play a blue betrayal. Physical combat, physical attack. I can remove a non-combat card or ally from the game. What, what's your power level? Power level is currently 1,090,000. Mm, that's too many. You will do as I tell you to do. The robots. Or androids. What was that? Were they, they were machines, right? They were like built by somebody? Were they built by Android 20? Or is that Inception? They were built by Dr. Whoever Android 20 is built after. Right. They were built by. OK. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I can't do anything about that. So you're going to deal six. I'm going to prevent one, so it'll be five, which also means you can steal a dragon Is it ball. six as normal? Because I can do this thing, too. Nine, yeah. So Nine. I'm going to take eight. And what does it mean, cannot be used with any other blue drills? So you just can't stack? You couldn't have, you like, five three. different okay. drills. Yeah, so it's going to be nine. Okay. Uh, plus you can steal a dragon ball. 
I'm gonna get rid of this with the effect, any non-combat card. Yeah. And then I get to seal a Dragon Ball. What are the triggers? So I would recommend this one, which is what I was about to do, is this card ends combat and the user's power to full. I like that. Uh, but there's also instantly power up to full, draw three cards and place the top discarded card at the bottom of your deck. Power up to full, anger level shifts up two, draw two cards, place the top two discarded at the bottom of your deck. There's the... Have you used all those? Yeah. Okay. All foes have their power ratings changed to two stages higher than what? zero. I'll take your suggestion. Let's do that. Yeah. That uh, seems good. That's all right, how so I take the yeah. Dragon Ball. Combat ends. Shift all opponents' anger levels down two. And I'm powered up. You could do that right now if you wanted. I'm doing it. Okay. So you shift me down two. Because if I don't do it now, I don't ever get to do it again. Yeah. Yeah. And if I got to do it, it would have been really good. Yes. I don't doubt that at all. And uh, then, uh... oh yeah, so I get to, that immediately into combat. Okay, interesting. And we have to discard. Oof. And the start of my turn I'm, to draw. I'm just going to lose by, by time. The default? Well, okay. I mean, look at my deck. Oh, you're almost there too now. Yeah, <laughs> this is almost over. <laughs> um, okay. Discard these two. Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. All right, mine? Mm-hmm. Uh, I power up four. <laughs> now we're cooking. I'm going to play Earth Dragon Ball 4. Oh, that was the, one last, turn out. the last Dragon Ball. So I, so I can't uh, lose. You if can't I, take if you five. you steal this one, is it over? Yeah. But okay. if you take five, you're probably gone too, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm right there. I'm at six cards left. Uh, but it's... It's close. Uh, Earth Dragon Ball 4 says, in the very next combat you were forced into before you sustain damage, my anger level increases by two. And can you choose to trigger that now or never, right? No, no, no. So f four, six, and seven are special. Mm -hmm. This has to be used in a combat before I take damage. So I can't play it like when I'm about to take damage. It's literally like... In the next one you are forced into? So is that when I go into combat? So if you, you can end it? If you force us to go into combat, I can just say, nope, it's okay. over and I gain two anger. You gain level. anger. Ugh. Gross. Japan himself, uh, if this game was made in LCG format, would it work? Well, uh, we're, we're waiting... Would any game? We're waiting to see if any of them <laughs> would work, honestly. And by work, we mean work in like a long term. Yeah, if, like if you're wanting it to be like, you know, with magic and all of that. So, like, I, I could picture this, right? Imagine. 2,000 Dragon Ball players just keeping it in print. I could picture that. I, imagine an LCG like a Dragon Ball Z, where it's like, start, you start at the beginning of the story, and it's literally packs until you get to the end of the story. And the intent is to, that's, that's the game. It's not forever. It's literally just. It's a, it's a season, basically, we're or gonna, a series. Yeah, you could even do it by season. That'd yeah. be pretty cool. It's like season cool. one, here's the story, and then you just go. Um, now, I could really see it. Dude, picture it as a cooperative LCG, because you have the villains that are coming out to tell that story. It would just be a story. Uh, down the line, and you're picking your hero, and you're building your deck, and you're like, that would be cool. Yeah, I could see. I that. would love it. Um, uh, Azrath gives some so four sequences when you play it, and then it automatically triggers next time I go to declare combat. Okay, right now. Well, in that case, so if you take a physical attack, you you're probably in tough shape here because it's going to be plus three and whatnot. Yeah, I just lose. Huh. But luckily, I end your next combat before we That's get That's right. In. Well, you uh, better be careful so, jumping in with me. So I'm not going to jump into combat. Okay. I'll rejuvenate. This will go to the bottom. So we're going to be playing the old dance here, then. I have to discard all but one. Do you draw if we enter combat, even if it's canceled? I don't think so. I don't think so, either. It just... Back over to me? Yep. And to win with the cards going away, though, do I have to not just deck Steven, but do I have to actually, like, remove everything? Ugh. Interesting. Um, okay, so I'm... So at this point, I've got to cancel that, and then I would lose three... <laughs> I would have three cards left. Now, if you don't go into combat... 
Well, but then you just don't go into combat, and then I draw three again, and I have to discard down, and then the game is over. Mm, mm -hmm. That makes sense? So... <laughs> well, technically speaking, if you rejuvenate, you would have one more card over here. Yes. But then yeah, that's you can problem. run out the clock still, right? Yeah. Because you could do the same thing. I can just pass Rejuvenate. the ball down the down All the right, field. so I'll enter combat. It'll fail, and then I'll discard down to one. And when that happens, I raise my anger, too. Yeah, so, and then if these three cards are drawn, is the game over? I think so. Uh-oh. <laughs> so there's no way to win. I'd, I'm not certain on the technicalities of all this. No idea. Well, um... Let's, Let's uh, pretend like, because I mean, what? Well, I would have to, if you run out of deck and you don't lose it because you have stuff in your hand, I would have to have a way of getting that card out of your hand to beat you, right? And there's not really a natural way to do that. All right, there they go. Done. And then my turn would start. And that doesn't matter. And then now it would be game on. You wait, rejuvenate, and then I draw three uh, and leave. Well, if I do that, yeah, but I'm not doing that. All right, game on. We're going to uh, declare combat because... Yeah, so Alfredo's saying that's how it works. Yeah, if you deck out, you lose. Because this is how gentlemen play the game. That's right. Bring it on, Zach. I'm going to take, these, draw your cards, take yeah. these bottom three. Let's Our go. Our final conflict. I want that Dragon Ball, dang it. <laughs> um, what do you, you don't cancel anything automatically, right? Mm-mm. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, okay. I'll use Piccolo the Destroyer's physical attack. It's normally plus six. Currently Just a physical? Isn't. isn't. Is it going to do nothing? Uh, no, I would draw the bottom card of my deck, but I don't want to do that. Let me back up. This is what I have to do. Red Lightning Slash. Physical attack. If successful, I can discard all the defending players' allies or drills in play instead of dealing damage, and then I raise my anger level one. So I need to cancel that, huh? I can't. So all these go away? Your drills. I got this. these drills. You've been lightning slashed. Bummer. You can still do it. Well, have at the... I have um, three cards in deck. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Blue Stomach Eruption, physical. If it hits, no more physical attacks for the remainder of combat. That would be your anger by one. That'd be two, because mm -hmm. you're a Blue Stomach Mastery. Uh, all right, I can't do anything. Take yeah. one. One stage. It's one stage. Lower no, by two. No physical attacks from my opponent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Use my mastery. Gain two anger. Trying for it. Lower opponent's anger by two. <sighs> Top three cards in my discard pile onto my life deck. Uh oh, he's got a he's got a hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what have I done? <laughs> no, no, no. The saga continues. Uh, I'll pass because I can't do physical attacks, right? Blue thrusted blast. Energy attack does five life of damage. Red energy shield stops an energy attack. Raise my personality to their highest power stage. Remove from game. Got him. Over to you. Pass. Let's take a shot. I'll do a uh, final physical attack for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check into the wall. <laughs> and then uh, I can't Dragon energy attack, removed, yeah. so I'll pass. All right. And then, so uh, if you run out of you deck, technically though, win, yeah. you, draw, you draw three. Well, no, if you're decked, like if you can't, if your deck is gone, you lose. You're just out. Yeah, so I, I lost last time. And I also just have those two drills now. <laughs> oh, that's so, <laughs> so great. That's not much. All right, so let's try the other two masteries, yeah? Yeah, I, I agree with this that plan. That seems fun. Grab, uh, grab your uh, Dragon Balls. Okay. Place, like out of your deck and Most stuff. Most of them are actually out of the game. Yeah. And that's that's also where like it's got similarities once you're you're past the specifics to flesh and blood that are so interesting. 
Because like usually by the end of a game, here's a stack too. There should be seven of each, obviously. By the end of a game, you're kind of get down to that last little bit, and like you have to be really careful. Like it's almost That's like being on one life in Flesh and Blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to be real careful. That's yours. Okay, these. That's yours. This is my Dragon Ball. This is my Dragon. What do we have? One through. Uh, one through seven. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one. You'll Maybe it's in my deck. When you have that many. All right. Uh, I'm gonna try Gohan. I think I'm doing the. Which master are you going with? So I'll read the masteries to you, and I'll let you pick which one you think sounds okay, more interesting. Cool. Cool. Uh, black style mastery. All of your successful attacks do plus one life card and plus one power stage of damage. Ooh. Black style attacks do plus two life cards and plus two power stages. Ouch, so that's it's a big heavy hitter kind of thing. Heavy hitter. Yeah. Orange style mastery here says all energy attacks performed by your main personality do plus one life card of damage if successful or cost one less power stage to perform cool. to a minimum of one. I'll do that one. Orange style energy attacks do plus one life card of damage and cost one less they get both to perform. So, I'll do the orange style. Yes, so it's if, plus if, one damage and one less power to do the energy attacks. I love that. I'm gonna hit the bathroom real quick. I lay the. Can you lay the characters out? To that's from that's me? where I'm I was gonna find one that has a good like energy. Power. Yeah. Now, so that's another critical component of this game, is matching characters with the right style of mastery, um, which is fun. I'm probably gonna go Gohan. I've wanted to play that that character my whole life, literally. Um, I'm, don't tell Steven, but I kind of hope he goes sell. Because that in the show, that was like the showdown of the century. I loved that era of like Gohan training up to beat Cell in the time chamber and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Dart says both of these masteries are a lot stronger. This match is going to be a slugfest. Yeah, I remember uh, Red was kind of the like, don't care about the normal game, try to get to max personality very quickly vibe, which is a cool tempo pace. And then, particularly, I remember Orange and Black just being, like, pounding it. He asked Sam, uh, saying, Cell Stage 1 has a power, uh, power parade of 3. He does, but he only has his max power stat 600,000 on Cell Stage 1. So it's a nice balance, because in the show, if you remember, like, at first, he's kind of a larva, and then he's not really, like, attacking and stuff. So it's just he can get punched and punched and punched and not really care, because he keeps powering up. And then when he gets into later uh, stages, he's really crazy. John Zane was watching the Transformers video from a year ago. Zach, your hair is so short back then. Crazy how much it's grown. Yeah. Uh, it was getting pretty long, and then isolation happened, so then haircuts aren't happening, which is fun. Uh, I'm going to hit the bathroom, too. Uh, so you can read, definitely read through these personalities. I'm, I'm leaning towards uh, Gohan myself, not knowing if he really matters with Black. But uh, feel free to look through. that. So a big part of the game, I'll say this before I go, is basically looking at the personalities and what they do pairing them with the masteries and the cards that matter. Mm -hmm. um, and right now, there's not even any neutral cards in the deck. A lot of times, you'd, you'd run a decent number of those. I had the personality-named cards. One of the cool things is they had cards that had characters' titles in it. So it'd be like Gohan's Anger Blast or whatever. Right, or like Trunks' uh, is Swiftly Moving. Yeah, and so <laughs> technically, anybody can run that card. But when Trunks runs it, he can actually run a fourth copy. And you can only typically run three copies of cards. So. Usually it was synergistic with that character, and you could also run more copies. Okay, so it was like kind of a balancing for those characters specifically. Yeah, given times given them some do that. Heat. So yeah. uh, some cool things to notice too, like Cell Stage One here, he has a three power upgrading uh, with only six hundred thousand here. And I was telling them it's like oh, it, so he he advances a lot, but like he's Cell got, does. Yeah, but early on when Cell was around, he wasn't like attacking. He was like a larva, and then he was like in base form, just messing with them. Uh, so anyways, look through those, pick your favorite, and I'll be back and we'll get one last uh, round in. Man, it's a bummer, because like four is awesome, but you don't get to use it. Yeah, there is cell five, if you had it. So you could guarantee you could go to stage four and play it if you wanted it. That's so nuts. We can act like you have five if you like Nah, it. that's fine. I was just looking at, all right, guys, let's look at these, huh? Android 20 catches my eye, because he immediately has an energy attack. Android personality in play, because that's going to get weird to build. Let's put him away. 17, physical attack, physical attack, energy attack on three. That won't matter. Vegeta starting out with an energy attack. Costs one power stage to perform. That would be free if I'm Orange Master, yeah? 
That's good. Oh, it wouldn't be considered an orange power attack. Never mind. OK. When you enter combat as the attacker, your opponent draws one less card. Oh, that's good. Man, these guys are so cool. What about Goku? New combat, draw a card. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of synergy there. Can't make it cost zero. OK, thank you. That makes a lot of sense. All right, so none of these really have like immediate kind of energy, energy synergy, if you will. 117 gets the car back, which is hilarious. <laughs> Just car stuff. What is happening? So I could also look at things that maybe get me extra extra power level, because I'll need to gain a lot of power. Like, cell power is up for four, so maybe cell would be a good choice so I can just keep spamming those energy attacks. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to play cell like that. That seems fun. Android 16, level three. The Battler. All successful physical attacks performed against you do a maximum of three power stages of damage. All energy attacks performed against you do a maximum of three life cards. Then we've got Andrew 16, the Fighter. When entering combat as the attacker, your opponent loses three power stages. My gosh. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to do the old Blasty Beetle Cell strategy here. We'll see if it happens. It's just too fun. I love Cell, too. So I've got to choose between Cell Perfect. Physical attack does seven life cards of damage. If Android 17 or 18 is in play, it also does three power stages. I guess I need to have them as like allies or something. They might be over here. Some Zenzu beans over here. Hero advantage. Tien's block. Ooh, I like that. And Tien's mental conditioning. Huh. Was Tien ever an actual like stage one to three hero? You guys know that? <laughs> I'm falling into Zach's trap, is that right? <laughs> Did he say that? Did he predict that I was gonna do that? Alright, here's Trunks, Gohan, Goku's stuff, Vegeta's stuff, Nappa's stuff, or Nappa. Raditz's stuff. What's really funny about these foils, too, is you just can't see them at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even with, like, the light, per like, shiny, you just can't. It's, it just disappears. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Cell's backslap. I want this. In defense. I'm putting them in. Don't tell anybody. Physical. Draw the bottom card of your discard pile, place it in your hand, and remove from the game. Yeah, backslap, backslap, backslap. You can use this card during your non combat search for a battleground or location and place it in play. Wow. And sells defense. Stop all physical for the remainder of the combat or remove from game. That doesn't seem fun. Okay, I don't think I can include these, right? Because I have Orange Mastery, maybe? Team got level one to four, Carl. That's awesome. Team does rule, Sam. Or not Sam, Wolfie. James, sorry, said all the wrong words. <laughs> Drosky, yeah, I, I, I'm so... I'm so into that. I wish I could grab game designers by the scruff and yell at them. If you want to have a non-interactive strategy, it needs to be weak compared to interactive ones. Here's a better idea. How about we just don't have non-interactive strategies? Did anybody sit down at the table to play a game so that they could just watch what their opponent's doing and not actually have to engage with them? Ever? Like, is that ever fun for both players? Isn't that, Maybe that's the thing we should think about with games. Can we make strategies that are fun for both players? I mean, that's really the question. So, like... Is a, is a prison deck really fun for everybody? Only very depraved people would enjoy that. 
All right, physical attack plus five, successful. Yeah, OK. So we're going to go sell stage one, sell stage two, sell perfect warrior, sell the destroyer. Zach, I'm playing sell. That might have been a trap. I don't know what's going on. That's the best. People were talking. So in the show, one of the big showdown, or the big showdown during the Cell Saga was Gohan versus Cell. You want to know my strategy? I'll tell you my strategy. To win? It is not that. No, it, most assuredly not that. It is the fact that Cell powers up for three every time. Uh huh. And I'm going to be having a lot of energy cards. So I figure I need to power up a bunch to launch a bunch of energy attacks. Does, does that power up writing carry through on his other forms? Yeah, three, 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 four. Mm. But if I get to four, I win anyway. So. Yeah, that's the beats. Um, so this is interesting uh, because there's a, I have Gohan the Champion, and I also have Super Saiyan Gohan. Um, Gohan the Champion's ability is when defending, he can draw a card. Super Saiyan Gohan, this is both stage one, Super Saiyan Gohan, when entering combat, he gets to draw a card. So this was the standard version, and this was a promo version. Cool. And so one is better at defense, and one's better at yeah, offense. Yeah, super smart. Um, and I think as black style mastery, I'm going to go with the offensive version. So I'm going to go Super Saiyan Gohan. And we're supposed to have 85 cards in the deck? Uh, you can have up to 85. How, do you know how many are in here? I kind of want to add Cell's stuff. Do you want Gohan's stuff? Yeah, hit me with it. Um, it should be 70, I think, is what should be in the deck, plus your seven Dragon Balls, so you're at 75. So I can just add them straight so away. So you have eight that you can just put into the deck. There's six for you. All right, you got six, I got six, let's just add them up. Yeah, and you get the plus one power up rating because you're a mastery. All right, so I get two energy attacks, basically, yeah. without, without being scared. Nice, so the three cards that I have or the two cards that I have. I'm not telling you mine. I'm going to surprise you with them. I'm not showing you yours. I'm just telling them. Gohan's <laughs> physical attack, which is obviously super good um, with Gohan. And then there's also Gohan's energy defense. That doesn't sound good for me. Two sleeves here. Gohan. I loved it. Any, loved it. Anybody have any good memories with this one? Like like notable <laughs> memories? No you memory. know? <laughs> None. Hated it. <laughs> yeah, it's really crazy because, like, just I like said, you know, those tournament moments or something where it's like, and then I just I, I had no idea the that, final that, Dragon e Ball. that scene even existed, and like it was like early, like we were just now getting like high speed internet in Chelsea at the time. <laughs> so like those what, were the days. It's like it's just a very different phase. Prot says I never got a chance to really explore it, but I like the ideas. Um, Carl saying, yeah, 50 to 85 cards is the deck limit. Wolfie saying, there's a prison deck in the score Dragon Ball Z. Thankfully, it wasn't very good. It was Saiyan style and used cards that prevented your opponent from powering up, then uh, added stage cost to their physical attacks. Gross. Carl saying, tons. Gohan and Cell level 2 can grab nearly anything. These orange cards are nice looking. Oh, well, yeah, check out this out. Gohan the Swift. The foils are awful. Yeah, just like flat foil. <laughs> Go on the Swift, his power is when he enters combat, he can search his life deck for a physical or energy combat card, show it to the opponent, and place it in his hand. I think Cell Sage 2 is also a similar vibe. I was going to say, I, I stay away from anything that searches my deck. Well, you just basically. I don't need those good card. player cards, okay? <laughs> Andre says, I've been hooked by these isolation streams. Started out with Marvel after buying the game and looking for videos. And now I'm very much into Arkham and your streams. Keep up the great work. Great, Andre. Thank hey, you. Happy to have you here. Glad they've been entertaining for you. James says, this was very much a kitchen table, scrappy, use what cards we have game for me. Never played a tournament, though. My favorite game moments are probably the scrappy ones generally, though. Yeah, this is definitely one of those games for me, too. I've started dividing my deck into two piles and shuffling, and then I'll grab... I'm living my, my best life over of here. Of them. Okay. Got to get a workout. Yeah, get the forearm <laughs> workout in. <laughs> ah! Dragon I mean, Ball. This is a tremendous. My uh, flavor text says on Go Super Saiyan Gohan, Cell, I can never forgive you for what you've done. Oh my. Mine says, get out of my way, tiny Gohan. Exactly. Doesn't say that exactly, but it's kind of. All right, of reminder my Black Style Mastery, all my successful Carla attacks, probably would. do plus one life card and plus one power stage of damage. Black style attacks do plus two and plus two. So like my physical attacks do plus two life and plus two cards. Like it's in power stages and cards. So don't get hit. 
Don't Easy. Get hit. Go Hans Angry. And then uh, Ben Sweeney saying, picked up Outer Rim after hearing your podcast on it. That's great, Ben. I hope you love it. I mean, it's, it's going to be hard not to like that game, honestly. I, it, right? How do you... It's fantastic. How do you... Yeah. All right. You ready to go down? Yeah, so? Carl, X-Wing, would X-Wing, X-Wing, we might throw it back to X-Wing. Yeah, it's on a list. reasonable thing, for sure. It's definitely on the list. Okay. Kind of on Star Wars break. Yeah, I couldn't tell. But we're going to eventually break that. All right, my starting power level is More seven, Mandalorian, maybe? 725,000. we got plenty of room here, too. Why don't we... Yeah, yeah I can, you can, you I can actually... just come more towards me, too. Let me get out of that picture-in-picture picture nonsense. Okay. 725,000. Power up. Power up. You want to you start this one? Arr. Yes. That's pretty crazy. So you'll start out at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 350,000. So how do you know that? Do you just power up first things first? You, you just start, start at your... 5 above 0. Okay, I'll start at 5. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. Draw 3. Connor O'Neill says, the power creep on this game was insane. It, it really was. But that was the same in the show, so. That's the, That's that was the problem. Like, the characters, mm -hmm. it's, it's even not even the design of the cards, but literally the power stages went through the roof. So it, the game had to get crazier to be thematic. Look at that big stack. So uh, somebody was saying that this was the preferred nomenclature. Oh, that makes sense. It's very honorable for us to do this. <laughs> yeah. James saying, hey, I, I really love this, and I appreciate it. James, so happy to have you uh, with us. It says, random aside, totally getting my $20 a month worth with these streams. Thanks for all the content during these strange, less social times. For anyone not familiar, at the very beginning of this, we've been streaming five days a week since isolation started, and a lot of people are asking for ways to support us. So we launched a content membership on the website. 20 bucks a month goes directly towards us being able to make content just like this. And uh, it's been the support we've received has been fantastic, and it's been super helpful for us to keep doing this and keep people with jobs and whatnot. So if you're a content member, thank you uh, for doing that. It's really, thank you very much. Really amazing. It's important. Okay. So you power up four stages. Yeah. First. Okay. One, Isn't that awesome? Two, three, four. I am a giant, powerful beetle. What are you at? Seven twenty-five. I'm still less powerful than you. Your stage one is just not that powerful. But he powers up a So I need lot. to get angry? Like, because you gain so many every round, I have to punch you a whole lot before you actually take any cards worth of damage. That's fair. Thomas says, take my money, please. Hey, we appreciate it. And there's no, uh, I reckon there's no, uh, 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 uh. Daniel James says, for real though, these throwback streams are some of the best things you guys have ever done. Love it. Hey, love hearing it. Thank you for, for, the, for the kind words and thanks for being here. It's been, a, it's been honestly awesome to go back and revisit all these games from my own perspective on tabletop. Just like the amount we're playing right now on a regular basis and the number of different games we're playing is wider and deeper than we've ever played. I feel like I, I was actually tweeting about this weekend. It's like I feel like it's almost like a nirvana of tabletop where it's like I've just seen way wider than yeah, I ever yeah. saw. You're close to enlightenment, I'm sure. In, in tabletop, maybe. Not to be there. It's like almost too much. It's, it's like when it's something's to too bright, right? It's like you can all, it's just like. My brain's at a different level with tabletop right now. Speaking of that, so I was playing that Steam VR last night, and uh, there's a mm. VR game that's just you staring at, you're basically wandering around the solar system, and you can stick your head in the sun, and it's really trippy. Is that the one Robert was talking about? Yeah. And when I did that, I like lost my mind. I was like, this seems sketchy. Okay, uh, I've got three cards. I'm in inner combat. Let's go. You have way more power stages than me, so that seems all right. I'm looking at my cards for the first time. First attack. I'm going to use Cell's special power, physical attack, plus four power stages of damage. When entering combat, I'm not the attacker. Um, okay, I can't do anything. So I'm at 725. I take zero plus four. Yeah. Now I'm at 425. Who's laughing now? Yeah, that's a problem. Because I can't play my energy attacks. Uh, let's do a... Physical attack. Just a straight up? Just a normal? I'm going to do... Final? Final physical, yeah. <laughs> That's all I can do. 
Andy, uh, Flesh and Blood Booster Bundle is back in stock probably tomorrow. Hopefully. Hopefully tomorrow. Uh, final physical. Targeting product, and that's a really good sign. Final physical. Uh, no. Nah. Right, I'll take it. Uh, what do I care? Yeah, that's fine. What's it even do? I'm at 425, so we're, it's one stage of damage. I'm at 650. Oh, it does nothing. <laughs> no, we're still in the same bracket. Okay. 300 to 700, okay. basically. I bet you win those brackets by heart, don't you? Uh, and it does plus one power stage and plus one life card. So just with the po one power stage? And one life card. It always does a life card, or plus only if I go to life cards, it does an extra one. So my, it says successful attacks do plus one life card and plus one power stage of damage. I assume it's all attacks. Does it work like that? I mean, you can't plus one a life card if I'm not discarding them, can you? Well, with zero, zero plus one is one. I think that if I start discarding, it's always plus one to anything, right? I lose an extra power level, or if I'm going to lose a card, I lose an extra card. You're definitely losing an extra power level. I'm def I've done it. Alfredo says, yes, it does. So just, just one card right off the top every time? Every black card is plus two power stages, plus two life energy. This is a burn deck? What? No wonder everybody played black style. This is, you just keep dropping cards. <laughs> uh, Orange Goku's Kamehameha. <laughs> energy combat. Doing six life cards of damage, and I raise my anger level by one. And hey, don't forget. I'm not forgetting. Did you take that? I was that just reading you the card, but it's not exactly what's going to happen. So it's minus one power stage. Ding! And then it's plus one uh, damage, is that right? Plus one... Uh, plus one life card of damage if successful, and one less power stage to perform. Okay, so it's doing seven? It's doing seven. I'm going to take that Dragon Ball. Two, three, four. Wow, just leading with five, the Kamehameha cell. Six, what are you doing? Seven. He was ready to party, I guess. Well, he learned it from him, I guess. Um, I'll pass, because I have to. Pass. Thank the maker. And I'll discard a Dragon Ball and put it on the bottom. The wizard says, to reflect an earlier sentiment, I look forward to Throwback Thursday every week. Great. <laughs> ben, Zach's <laughs> definitely thinking, and we were swinging. That came, uh, that came on the radio yesterday when I, when I got it's, home. It's now our anthem, 2020. <laughs> yes, yeah. Wow. If you had told me that was the anthem, I would have never believed you. Let's check this out. This is sweet. You dead yet? So I want to know how this works. It's called Black Power Up. It's a non-combat card. It says, raise any personality to its highest power stage. If you declare it uh, Toku Waza, you may also end combat. So I assume I play it during non-combat, but that's a power I can use each combat. I'm trying to figure that one out. Hmm. For... What? So it's non-combat and it ends combat, so that makes me think, it's not a drill, but I assume it's a non-combat card that stays in play, right? But that can't possibly be you always raise your highest power level and in combat every time. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> you so, pop it and it's gone. One time use in combat, but sits on the board. Okay, okay, okay that, that makes sense. Man, makes I, sense. having chat here, but you guys why, are the best. How do, they, how, do they not label those cards somehow? Like yeah. one time use or instant or activate? That's right. Like, here, I have another one. Uh, this is a drill, so drills stay in play. I All drills it. stay in play. Anything that's not a drill, is one time use. Okay. Time. okay. Uh, it's called a black bear hug drill. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon <laughs> hugging himself. <laughs> Creates a plus two power stage drain with each successful physical attack made by this card's attacker. Oh, I can raise my anger, too. And then I'm going to play black freestyle drill. Well, what is this? You drew the perfect opening hand. What is this? Uh, <laughs> draw a card. So it's a non combat drill. Draw a card from the bottom of my discard pile after receiving a successful energy attack. Can't be used with any other black drill cards in play on the table. So once I'm going to get a power up all the way and in combat, and then this lets me draw the bottom card of my discard pile if I get hit with an energy attack, and this lets me drain for plus two on my physical attacks, and then I'll pass. And so use with doesn't mean you can't use this as well. It just means anything else that would trigger at the same time can't be used at the same time. Is that right? Right. So if I had anything else that triggers whenever I receive an energy, energy attack, damage. it doesn't okay. work. So I'm going to rejuvenate one, put this on the bottom of my deck. Can you grab it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. OK. One, two, three, 
You can imagine, right? Power up for four. Like, as kids, the ability to basically pick your favorite character and then just jam on this thing. It, it, seriously, it was just weeks on end. We were oh playing this game. Oh my gosh. And you got one card in your hand, right? All right, so I got a non-combat orange destruction drill. This is important. This is better. This says it can't be used with any other black drills cards in play. So if there's another black drill in play, this can't be used. Hmm. Okay. Anywhere on the table, mine or yours. So the first one to get it is the winner. Uh, so I've got Orange Destruction Drill, which is fascinating. At the beginning of every turn, discard one of opponent's non-combat, non-Dragon Ball card in play. At the beginning of every turn. That's good. <laughs> then we'll play an Orange Off-Balance Drill. Stop the first physical attack made on you in a combat. And then we will uh, rejuvenate. Get a Kamehameha. At the beginning of every turn. That's obscene. It's obscene. And then I'll discard a Dragon Ball and put it on the bottom. I needed neither of those Dragon Ball mm. effects. That makes sense. Okay. It's like go up to full power. I'm Cell. So at the start of my turn, do you want to trigger your drill? Yeah. Um, I'm going to guess it's one of these two. This lets me power up to full during a combat. That one. Yeah. And it discards it? Discarded. That's crazy, Towns. <laughs> oh, Connor. Yeah. Stick with Marie Kondo, you know? That's the problem I'm having. You should see my office in there. Oh, You've I seen know. it. Yeah, they should see it. Because, like, right now, Here's I have we the need. next, like, 30 games in That's the queue. That's why we have to make that storage solution we're thinking about. Mm. Because how different would it be if you had nice cases that everything was in and it was all standardized? And you can Marie Kondo that for the rest of your life. Just... Slot it into a nice storage area. Yeah, I had to buy like area. I have like five of those uh, cardboard boxes. That I no bought. matter how many white cardboard boxes you put yeah. anywhere, they look mm -hmm. awful. Yeah, there's no joy in that. All right, uh, what's up, Shannon? I get to draw three. The shorter Stevens here gets, the longer Zach's gets. I can. That, that it's can, an inverse proportionality for sure. Can't get much truer though. Your hair can't get much shorter, and uh, my hair could get potentially infinitely longer. Ryan said he would buy a hundred of those. So that's already a print run. We could we could make the product right now. It's worth it. Let's do it. Let's get the money up front, though. That's right. Pre-order. I'm just so tired of them all being bad. Even they, the Ultima Guard ones, only, the best bad. you can get is a, a two-row with a play mat. It's like, that's not enough. All right, we'll do it. Matt's in as well. All and right. I don't like the wooden boxes. It feels weird to have abrasive wooden boxes, and it's too heavy. I don't know. I'm going to play Black Energy Stamina Drill. Would you fight me already? It costs one power stage for me to make energy attacks, so it's one less. Uh, I'm going to enter combat. Uh, I'm going to use Super Saiyan Gohan's ability Here we to draw go. a card. Oh, great. Non-combat cards. <laughs> Who built this deck? <laughs> you just drew them at the wrong time. Know what I mean? All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Black Hug Maneuver. Grr. <laughs> Physical attack. Raise my anger two levels. Don't mind me. Get my sword closer to unsheathing. Uh, if Earth Dragon Ball 6 was in play, I could raise it three levels instead. So it's a physical attack, and I'm at 575,000. What happens if I take that? Uh, this would make it plus two. This would make it plus two more. So it would be plus four stages. We're both at one. So it would be five stages of damage. Five and two, stages of damage. And two life cards of damage. Is it a physical attack? Yep. Be careful because I stopped the first one. Oh, really? Do you want to waste one first? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll still do it. So you stop it. Done. Okay. Here comes the cancel combat here. Now, I'm going to do this. No, I'm not going to do this. Orange Energy Discharge. Energy attack, six life cards of damage. It's only going to cost me one because of Orange Mastery. You cannot use energy combat cards to stop it. Take it. Seven life right off the top. I'm blasting, man. Dragon Balls go to the bottom, we said? Yeah. If they're not in play. I saw another one here. You're, you're kicking me. You're beating me up. 
Darren, I'll give you something. We'll give you something that looks nice. That, we, need to, we need to get into the business this, already. This wasn't this wasn't supposed to go this way. No. Um, Market research, right? All right, mine. Yep. Let's do a final physical attack, discarding this. Fine. What does it do? It would be One. two, three, four damage. Not even the cards, it's just your physical attack? So th it's plus one, plus one to all f physical. Okay. If it's black, it's plus two, plus two. This also gives plus two to a physical. So it should be four and then one card off the top of your deck. Ah, oh, another Kamehameha. Dang it. Those Kamehamehas are good. <laughs> all right, I'll play a c combat card called Cell's Instant Transmission. I can use it during non-combat. I but thought this was so cool on the show. Do you remember this? He would like, do this thing, and he'd disappear and go to the, wherever he wanted. So how do you beat that? You can't beat that, by the way. If he'd have used it smart enough, you couldn't beat it. Search your life deck for a battleground or location and place it in play. I don't know if I have any of those, and I don't even know what they would say on them. Would oh, they say battleground man. or location? I don't know if you do. If you don't, then you should just draw a different card. Does it, does it tell me... Will it, it tell it, me or it will it be hidden? It would say, like, the... right here. Okay, it'll tell me. I did put all the cell cards in there, so maybe there's a cell... Uh... I'm trying to think. Or would it be in the title or something, like the drills are? Setup? No. Drill? I don't know that any of those are in there. I may have duped you. Mm -mm. Well, I put, the, I put the cell cards in here. It's looking like a no. It's going to be a no for me, dog. Dog? <laughs> I wonder what kind of stuff you can... What can you put in there, Here, though? Let, let me... Hold on. Battlegrounds? Give me, give me one second. You got a battleground? Yeah, give me a second. We're not going to be able to pop it up. It's fine. The crowd will go wild. Oh, man, from downtown. Not, not do you search your deck. You search your collection. Right. You search your friend's collection. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. These are the boxes I was talking about. Yeah, right? See? I'm so tired of these boxes. <laughs> Gross. Yes, there is. All right. Locations are sideways. So, this pile right here is all the cards that I didn't include. Are you kidding me? We're just going to find a decent location. Just find for you. a location. Okay. Welcome to. And they're not the in any necessarily relevant order. So, you should be able to really easily tell. It'll just look different, right? Yeah. Okay. You think you'd put them all in the same place? <laughs> oh, wait, that's a card These back. These are kind of in order, I guess. What What's going on? What's blue going idea? On? I've got a blue idea. <laughs> Weird. No. Okay. I'm going to put those on top of this, and I'll put this on top of that. It's the order they're in, technically. Okay. Energy storage drill. Oh, these look... Different. Oh, these are new cards. Yeah. Ooh, these are pretty. The like foliar bleed looking yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It got a lot of TN cards too. All right, nothing there. So the, your stack goes here, then this one. Can you just put that back in the box, followed by that? And I have the last of them. Let's see. Let's see if we have any location. What would the location be like? The arena or the pit or There's the all the different places the they fought? The canyon. That, that was another thing. So, the designers wanted to make the locations and, and battlegrounds one kind of card, but there were places where they went that they didn't fight, and places they fought that is just like a field. And so they had to create two different types of cards, even though they were the literal exact same thing. I'll just draw another one. Let's just see. I'm almost to the end. All right, I don't think I have any. Okay. Uh, then, instead of doing that, I'll do a final uh, physical back at you, buddy. 350, are we in the same tier? I'm at 575. 350, yeah, group. we're in the same group here. Uh, I'm going to do a black forearm block. Stops a physical attack, raise my anger level one. Oh. Boop. Um, hold on. I'm just ring it. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. That's so good, man. Ooh. Ooh. Do you have any drills? Oh, I've already got what I need. Ooh, wow. Does it stop it? Uh, uh, 
Yeah, done. Gone. Yeah, you stopped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. I already did final physical, did, so I have did. to pass. Okay, I'll also uh, pass. Is it my turn now? Was it you? No, it was me. I entered. This yeah, that was, yeah, we, didn't do it. we did a bad job. We did a bad job. <laughs> we did a bad job. We did a bad job. Uh, I hate having to discard stuff. So there's a, also a freestyle mastery, just so we're aware. Hold on. Uh, who's tilted here? I think I'm the one that's tilted. No, you are. You're definitely tilted. Okay. Well, how about some of this, man? So this is technically. I'm just going to straighten this up a little bit. Cool. Thank you. All right. So I drew. I power up. One, two, three, four. Isn't that, that's crazy. Yeah. That's actually super good. You can't fight the beetle. Oh, yeah. You can get rid of one of my cards. At the beginning of every turn. Uh, get rid of... Um, that one. Plus that the best physical one? or energy attacks cost me one less. We can get rid of that one. All right. What does Ugh. that drill do? Draw a card and something happens? I draw a card from the bottom of my discard pile after I get hit with a successful energy attack, but it has to be the only black drill I have in play. So if you get rid of this one, now that one's actually online. But right oh, now it's blank. Ooh, it's blank. Yeah. Great. How about we do this? An orange aura drill. All my energy attacks are plus one. If I have a specialization, it's plus two. So it's currently plus three on the orange blast. And doesn't this... This makes it plus one anyway. Yeah. So it's so plus three, three total, yeah. Ugh. Orange focusing drill. Prevent anything from happening to my drills until I advance to the next level. Well, I'm, that's ridiculous. I'm just gonna blast. I remember reading those and I'm being not like, even angry. "You I'm want that one blast. out, and then you want this one out." I'm, I'm just, not even angry. I'm just that's start how blasting. cell rolls, right? Yeah. It's just like uh, you're, you're an insignificant human. Hmm. But sometimes you, you, they make you get angry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Yeah. Your opponent can also play cards that get you angry. I'll rejuvenate. Slate says that's the best orange drill. Which one? The destruction drill? That one seems insane. Orange destruction drill? Get out of here. Rejuvenating a uh, Kamehameha. Kamehameha. That seems good, right? Oh, no. Orange energy discharge. Way better. Okay. What does it say to your other drills? Prevent anything from happening to a personality's drills. I'm going to choose cell as my personality's yeah. drills. So I can't even get rid of that one first to get rid of the other ones. That's obnoxious. I'll draw three for my turn. OK. Done. One in hand. It's like having the arsenal, man. What do you auto cancel? Physical. Mm. I keep reading cell's uh, physical attack, too. Oh, he just has it built in. Yeah, super good. Four stage. I power up too. Yeah, that seems okay. Yeah, but you get powered up, and I, you, you're stronger than me. But I can still blast you, so it doesn't really matter. I can just blast you with energy attacks, and I don't have to worry about it. it that's right. Energy attacks. That's what I was saying earlier. Power stages only matter a certain amount. Yeah. It's like as long as you can gain the stages, it's like health. You yeah. have like so many to take. Cell is a tough one, man. How are you going to get through this? Cards. <laughs> I'm going to keep playing cars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's enter combat. Enter Sandman. Enter uh, combat, when I enter combat, I draw a card. Oh, wait. Hold on. <coughs> Before this happens, at the beginning of every turn. <sighs> yeah. I assume you get rid of this one. Yeah. One, two, three. Don't mess with the sand. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just say it. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Perfect. Cool. I love orange. Go ahead. What you got? What you got, buddy? I'm glad you found your, your home. What you got? All right, let's go. Black energy web. Get a little garlic junior in here. <laughs> uh, energy attack. Uh, black energy stamina drill makes it only cost me one power stage. And it says, energy attack doing six life cards of damage, if successful, also stops an opponent from performing any energy attacks for the remainder of combat. Um, and it's a black energy attack, so technically it will, it will do eight life cards of damage and two power stages of the hits. Quit. Just you remember that. So I can't do energy stuff. I can't play energy combat cards. What kind of nonsense is that? If it hits. Um, it's hitting. 
<laughs> we were hitting. We were hitting. Eight, you said? Eight cards and two stages. A little retribution. You won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> okay, done. Nothing I can do. All right, I can't play energy combat cards. Okay. Well, uh, let's try to use an orange arm bar in response here. It's plus three stages of damage if successful. Raise my anger level by one. Black elbow strike stops Black. a physical attack. Plus one anger. No. I don't need a board. What's that all about? Um, let's go. Black right cross. Physical. Oh, do I, do I, these are different sentences, yeah? Do I always raise my anger level? You definitely raise your anger level. level, yep. That's something to get. If it doesn't say if successful, then it happens. Anger beetle. Black right cross. Physical attack doing three power stages of damage. Do not consult the physical attack table. Um, so it's just physical attack, but it's a black physical. Oh, it gets canceled, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Does that change your mind? That's fine. Nope, still happens. Ten. Let's me do that final physical in a minute. <laughs> All right, let's do a physical attack with cells power plus four stages of damage. Black defensive aura mm. stops an opponent's physical or energy attack. Costs one power stage to perform. All right. All right. It's fine. It's fair. Fair. It's fair. Um, let's go. Black explosion. That's cell getting exploded. Uh, energy attack, because black energy stamina drills out, it only costs me one stage to do it. And it says, energy attack, if successful, discard one of your allies in play. You don't have any allies. But it's an energy attack, it doesn't say, four. so standard is four, but it's plus two, plus two, because of my black style mastery. Plus two stages. So two stages, six cards. On energy attacks, it's stages? It says, black style attacks do plus two life cards and plus two power stages. <laughs> plus two? You can't plus <laughs> something it's not doing anyway. <laughs> I like that you can't I'd like to it. add one banana to your non-banana <laughs> stack. I mean, that it's makes like If you have sense. three bananas and two strawberries, how many watermelons do you have? <laughs> add um, one watermelon. But you still take you, six from over whenever there. Whenever you buy a banana. Uh, take six. Uh, Isaiah is saying, beware. You can still play energy combat cards. You just can't make energy combat attacks. Mm. If that's relevant to that's you. Fine. Energy attack. Energy attack. Was that a successful energy attack? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, done. Done, 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 done. Uh, pass. No, wait, I guess I can do the final physical. Huh? Seems good. But I'm at what? 500,000. 350? We in range? They're the same yeah, bracket. You could one. cost me one. I'll cost you one. Uh, uh, ben, I agree with Ben here. He says you can't triple stamp with double stamp. That's right. I mean, this is sacred. The sacred text. <laughs> uh, final, <laughs> final physical. Did that get you down to zero yet? No. Final physical. I could see how you could just jam this game out, and they get really frustrated, and then get mad at your friends, and then rebuild it. Well, and like other things to think about, right? Like picture your cell in a red style deck where you're just trying to get to that Bugatti stage three, stage four cell. Mm -hmm. um, and each deck, it's just like each color you would even tweak based on the character you're running. So like it's maddening. It would be maddening. I'm already mad. Did you do your final physical? I did it, yeah. Did you take it out for me? No, I didn't. I'm, I only have one power stage to the zero. Yeah, that's right. So it's into my turn. Because so of my master moves. Your turn. <laughs> Your insane drills. I'm <laughs> drilling. We were drilling. Three coming in. The cool part of like what I'm trying to set up with these decks is just having generic decks you can pair with any personality. But it's like if you played even three or four games, you would start to understand the combos your deck is trying to set up. You know what I mean? Yes. Like even just seeing this is like, oh, you can get this insane drill out and make it where I can't do this. And it's like that's really that's fun, frustrating. Right? Uh, let's blow up your last thing at the start of my turn. Let's move my power level up one, one, two, three, four. That's blow, blow that thing up. Blow Look it up. This. No board. Blow it up. All right, get ready for some action. Let's go to combat. All right, drawer. Drawer. <laughs> drawer. Oh, this is. I literally couldn't have asked for a better hand. No. That's so good. All right. 
You don't have that stupid web card, right? <laughs> Tom McCall says, I finally looked up, and we were swinging. Pretty sure mm -hmm. this never reached the UK, but at least I know what it is now. What were you saying? I By the way, Dart saying, I hope we end up playing the Panini version. He feels like they change the changes between Score and Panini show you just how much better the game got. I have that version, a big box of it that I bought at one random Gen Con that was on discount. Let's so. start out with an orange power beam. It's uh, just an energy attack. If successful, I uh, you've got to pass your next thing. Okay. Well, look at this. Gohan's energy defense prevents an energy attack. Gohan gains one anger level. Does that mean you go up to super mode? I'm at five. He's already ah! super saiyan. So let's see what stage two holds. I kind of like not knowing. Stage two, he's at 2.2 2 million. Gohan the Swift, 2.2 2 million. Gohan the Swift. The he Beetle has Slayer. Power when entering combat. So we already passed that stage. Mm -hmm. He gets to go get any energy or physical combat card out of his deck. Oh, I had to cast that too. So that cost me one. That's really crazy. So we can just go get something. Well, that's going to be annoying. Yeah. Uh, well, let's make a final physical attack. Just discarding a card. That's all I got. So I'm at 2.2 million. What are you at? It's going to be canceled. Mm. All right, canceled. <laughs> that's fun, right? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Something feels a little weird about that. <laughs> OK. Over to me. Orange energy concentration cost me three normally. It's only going to cost me two. If it's successful, you discard a card from your hand. But, dude. I know. I was so loving that you this had is an energy a tasty attack? one card in your hand. And it's a it's a cancel physical gain and anger card. Yes. Uh, so I'll take it. I discard this and then four cards. Four plus two plus one. Three, four. Plus four. No, sorry. Plus three. So seven total. That's three, a four, five. Roundabout way to six. say that. Seven. I'm glad that we finally got there. Currently at plus three to all of my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> got him. Over to you. All right. Starting my turn. I draw. No, not, to, not over to you. Over to you. I pat, I'm out. Are I'm you out kidding of me? I'm, I'm not stopping blasting. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, orange Strike cost me one. Get out of here. Doing five life cards plus three. Eight damage. Raise my anger level by one. You're going to run me out of deck, dude. That's the game. You're, I'm going to keep going. Oh, my lord. Orange energy discharge, six, seven, eight, nine. You can't use energy combat to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think this Metapod was going to blast you. You got crazy all of a I sudden. I started blasting. All right. You done yet? Physical attack. Get Four out of here. Four stages it. of damage. <sighs> As the as the flavor text says, I'll try harder, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mine. <laughs> uh, go on the Swift. We got some work to do. Ah, we've all said it. <laughs> I'll try harder, Dad. <laughs> all right, uh, let's play Black Shadow. No, you're just gonna blow it up, <laughs> Devil. <laughs> ah, why, why? Look at this sweet control burn deck. Isn't this fun? Don't you love this? All right. I'll bet there were some awful people that played orange back when this was happening. Let's play it. I'm going to play Black Shadow Drill. It allows that card owner to take two less stages of power drain from a successful physical attack. OK. You're going to blow it up, of course. But you know, whatever. Uh, and I power up three. So we're at two million, uh, which is a good, it's a good stage. Pack a lot. Uh, I'm going to enter battle. When I do, I get to search my deck for a physical or energy attack. And uh, then shuffle my deck. So now I want to get the biggest, baddest card I've got. <laughs> That's right. Good luck finding it. Needle in a haystack over there. Throwback question marks. The board says orange is OP on Twitch. It so. seems all right. I'm going to get the uh, <laughs> black fatality. <laughs> Apparently, black also lacks good removal to deal with it. Matt said, remember when you were hoping that I would run Cell? You got to lose Oops. before you can. Uh, I remember Goku saying some quote that, like, basically, uh, you can only be as powerful as you need to be. So to get more powerful, you have to create the need. Something mm -hmm. like that. Need for speed? Basically, when you get desperate, you're willing to, like, unleash your true power. That's really fair. All right. 
While we're on the subject, Tom, this is a good question. So uh, shout out to D. Artagnan. Uh, I've started my own community run version called Project Z, which has its own Facebook group. So if anybody's interested in checking this out, Project Z on Facebook, give that one a look. Tom's asking all of you guys out there on the chat and, and watching this, do you still play? Do you still play like the super version? Like the new version? Azareth says no in no uncertain words. Uh, Sam's giving you uh, some hot tips there. Obviously, you shuffle your deck every Gohan's time. Gohan's ability, let's make Dragon sure balls, nice. etc. Uh, we haven't right. seen any Dragon Balls. That's weird. Last yeah, game, we were tossing them around like a juggler. Pinata. <laughs> All right, let's play Black Fatality. It's an energy attack. If it, hits, stop? if it hits, it'll do seven life cards of damage, and it was my one. And uh, two power stages. So, I mean, I gotta do something. You've been I, I can't do anything about it. All right, so seven cards and two power stages. You can tell both of these decks are like the Rock'em Sock'em. They hit big. Dragon Balls, Dragon Balls. Sing me a song. Okay, done. Over to me. Oh, Over I take to you. How many stages? Two. Do you have a blocky energy card? Maybe. <laughs> Let's try an orange power beam. It's going to cost me one. Mm. Energy tag for success. We got to pass your next one. Black Axe uh, Heel Kick. Stop it and gain an anger. Uh, What's really annoying is that card that makes my final physical. Because like right now I'm way above you on power stage. So like if I could just do my final physical, it would be great. Dragon Ball is taking his damage. Don't count. So if you any ever have to go put them under for taking damage, you draw that many cards and replace them. Oh. So you always take seven actual cards of damage. I should have taken three more then. Cool. I'm just gonna do it. Because I shuff, shuffle through them. Right on. Makes sense. Uh, I'll pass, since my physical doesn't matter. Hmm. You got a physical block that's really good or something? I don't know. Would you say that, though? I would say the odds are OK. Well, not I still got to take a shot, right? I don't know. Does it give you like a ton of anger? I don't know this game. <laughs> 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 that's, that's what you do in <laughs> Dragon Ball. You get mad and you scream. Um, I'll try to do a physical attack at plus four stages. Black finger block stops an opponent's physical attack. I gain three power stages. No, that's the opposite. Of that is an anti what you needed. I'll pass. I'll also pass. My big fat discard pile. Okay, start of the turn. Destroy that thing. Draw three cards. That's really annoying. I mean, it's awful. I can't even believe it exists, to be honest with you. I'm and gonna, then, I'm going to uh, do some tweaking this weekend up. on these decks. One, two, three, four. It's a tweaking weekend. <laughs> Maybe I'm about to. <laughs> that could mean a lot of fun. things in Oklahoma, am I right? What? <clears throat> we have a math problem. Okay, here we go. I'm immediately going to enter combat. All right, I'm going to draw my three. Like, playing it now, I 100% see why we were, like, obsessed with this game. Mm -hmm. It feels like you can always win, even though you're just getting punted around constantly. Well, it feels like Dragon Ball, I mean, you're just punching each other back mm -hmm. and forth. <laughs> Super good. All right, let's kick it off with yeah, your, Azareth. your favorite and mine, Orange Energy Concentration. If it hits, you'll discard a card from your hand. Costs me two rather than three. going to be seven off the top if it hits. It hits. Oh, discard a card. I assume it's at random. Is it? No, it's not. Good. Oh, yeah, I get to trigger my ability first. <laughs> my uh, search. Yeah, thanks, Azra. Take care, guys. I know what I want. I'm going to get a black turning kick, and then I'll discard this card. Does that stop my energy stuff? No, it's just an energy attack. Hmm. I'm almost out of deck, by the way. Yeah, dude, it's not good. You're done. It's already over. <laughs> the game was over when we shuffled in these orange cards. <laughs> I'll get rid of that. Yeah, those orange, orange seem right. I had one turn of four blasts, and I think that's really important. Hmm. All right, uh, black turning kick. Yeah. Uh, it cost me two. Raise my anger We're by one. We're just blasting at each other. Yeah. Uh, five life cards of damage. 
plus it anything? It will be seven plus two stages. You got it. You know how the energy stops. I know a new energy stops. No. What's happening? I think I'm supposed to out energy you. Ravage says orange v black tends to go very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. These are just like the the poundy decks. Okay. How about? Oh wait, it won't matter. No, I will. How about an orange beatdown? Physical attack, if it's successful, I get to look at your hand and discard one. I know. It's very good. That's unfortunate. Um, well, I can't stop it. All right. So what's Nothing your power level? Happens. Nothing. <laughs> They're kind of the similar things. Physical attack, gain an anger level, increase what's the name of it? power rating. Go Han's physical attack, which is good. Physical attack does three life. If successful, you cannot perform for the remainder of combat. You can have the black defensive burst. Gohan's no opposite of that. You can have that one, yeah. Trash that one. Yeah, you're full. Yeah. Uh, pass. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's use cells minus four stages. Physical. Yeah. Pass. Who's laughing now? You have that orange off-balancing drill. So like my physical is just like, It's oh. a waste of time. Well, uh, I'll, uh, I don't, I can't do anything else that's gonna matter here, so uh, I'll, I'll pass as well. Over to me. I need a Hail Mary here. Hail Mary. All right, sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, Non-combat card. Dragon Ball, Earth Dragon Ball number three. Ah. Draw three cards. I'm taking that one hostile. Pronto. And then I get to put three on the bottom of my deck from the top of my discard pile. And then... Oh, this could be a big round then for you. Dragon Ball number four. Oh, my gosh. So it's kind of cool if you take damage with Dragon Balls and they go to the bottom of your deck. Mine get shuffled in because of my ability. But, like, all my Dragon Balls are here. At the end of the game, it's just a... So then, so like, you could just pretend to dump them all and win. You could draw a bunch and just dump them all and win. Is that true? If maybe, can you play one Dragon Ball a turn or something? Is it seven Dragon Balls, six Dragon Balls, five <laughs> Dragon Balls? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, I got no counterplay against this. You have Dragon cards. Balls, right? <laughs> if you play one, I can't. I play haven't it. seen them. All right, let's play Black Takedown Drill. Allows the attacker to draw a card into his hand in every phase he makes an attack. Stop, stop, stop. What? Stop. Really? Wait. The four, by the way, is the one that cancels your next combat phase and raises my anger, too. Um, yeah. That's going to juice you up again. We're going to go into combat. I'll trigger Gohan's ability. I didn't power up yet. Void says, yep, you can draw them all in this and win in the same turn. Which is kind of cool because like it, it makes you want to play the Dragon Balls. Yeah. Because if you don't, the inevitably they're all going to be at the bottom of my deck. So there's just this like one window where I can just jam them out. Because a lot of them let you draw too. So they draw you know you draw each other if that was all that was left in your deck. That's and weird. Technically, if all I had in my deck were Dragon Balls, and you did five damage, they would just spin through. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. So then I can't die until those go away. How does that work? Oh, you got to draw them, I guess, and then well, I well, I I draw three of them, and unless I could dr drew the one like somehow so I just have to keep, you punch me to steal one. I can't win without one of them. Uh huh. So then I would have to punch you for five damage somehow if that was all I had left. Weird, least. weird. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You die if you can't take real damage. Says okay. Boyd. Okay. There you go. There it is. That makes <laughs> no, sense. No Dragon Ball shuffle. All right. Uh, uh, let's uh, do this. Black turning kick, uh, energy attack cost me two. If it hits, it will be seven damage plus two energy levels, and it angers me up one. I think I can do this now. Can I play this now? Dragon Ball Seven. Yep. Play this card during combat to end the battle. Pick three cards out of my discard pile and place them on the top of my deck. So what I don't know is, can you do that in reaction to me, yeah. or do you have to wait till your till my actual action? That is a so question. So either have one, to. it's fine for you to do that. Energy combat. Does anyone, anyone on chat know? We, we can proceed. 
Tech. No, not not really. You don't you don't discard cards though, right? Is that what that says? Well, I would for this, right? What's that say though? Uh, pick three cards, put them on top of my deck, and everybody's down to anger. Hmm. Yeah, Sam, what's the question? So can I play Dragon Ball 7? You can use Ball 7 during combat in place of an attack or in your non-combat sub, so I can't do it in a response to you. Got you. Uh, nope. 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 Okay, I can't stop that thing from happening. So what do I do? Seven cards and two power stages. Nice. Seven cards, two power stages. I'm down to zero. Now I'm going to stop the attack. Okay. So I have to discard down to one. That's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I think it was about to happen for me. Because I also had this black takedown, so I could draw a card. And all anger levels shift down to. <sighs> I was also about to power. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Down to two. All right, so three cards. So I know that my first combat is going to be canceled. So what I want right now is just the dad tier. Non-combat cards. <laughs> Connor says, and two watermelons. <laughs> Orange beat down. Okay. Special beam cannon drill. There it is. That's the piccolo juice. Oh, cool. That's awesome. That's really awesome. What's it do? What's it, it called? Orange special beam Orange special cannon beam cannon drill. drill. So whenever you do an interstack attack against me, I can perform the same one against you during my next attack phase. That's awesome. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Unless life card discard from my real energy cannot be used. Really. Okay, that doesn't matter. Continuing. Okay. Orange tripping drill. Nice. Uh, dude, I'm just going to drill up here. Yep. The orange way. Orange arm bar. No. Yep, 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 yep. You see, uh, so you like to for an ally. Do we have any allies? No. Okay. Should have. I meant playing. to tell you that. <laughs> so the other thing is, you can basically include any of these stage ones in as your allies. So like, Sal could have grabbed one of each of the droids. Oof. That's cool. And then the way see, you can have like little little army little. Yeah. So the way allies work is when you're at your power stage zero, they can become your main character. Until you're not, basically. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. That's what I needed. So I'm going to put these three on the top of my deck. I'm going to get a beam cannon, a drill, and a drill. Apparently, cell allies is really strong. Man, that dragon ball is good. Okay. And you can be at zero or one when you play an ally. Combat is over. I get to hold one. Remember, the next time you force me into combat, and I assume you'll blow this up. Oh, right. So I get to go into combat. Oh, no, that's the Dragon Ball. That's right? the one that'll cancel. Okay. Yeah, I'll blow that up. I got to discard these two first. Okay, then I draw these three cards as we anticipated. Then we'll play an orange special beam cannon drill, an orange steady drill, and an orange tripping drill. Good lord. <laughs> So the beam cannon, I can send an energy back at you. Orange steady stops the first energy. Tripping prevents one life from every energy attack. So you can stop it and then send it back at me? Yes. How cool. Well, it says it went a successful energy attack. So I cannot mm. do that. So you stop the first one, you can send the second one back at me. That's right. What's that last thing to do? Uh, minus one damage from energy attacks. OK. You going to go into combat or not? I'm going to trigger it. I mean, right. I guess I may as well, yeah? Will it? I have to. At some point. And then you what? You increase your anger by two? Yep. OK. You doing it? I guess. Right. I guess. End of round. OK. Mine? Mm-hmm. Keep drawing those cards. Yeah. All right. Earth Dragon oh, Ball I need 5. To power up to one, two, three, four. Earth Dragon Ball 5. Power up to my full amount. Gain two anger, so I go to the next stage. Mm, what a waste. I Didn't know. even need the full. Wait, can you win by going to super mode? Four? I'd have to get to four. Oh, well. Gohan the Mighty, 3.8 million. He has a physical attack doing plus seven power stages of damage. Why? Uh, and then draw two cards and place the top two discarded cards on the bottom. And then 
Do you like getting wrecked by cell? Also, destroy your best thing over there. I, I don't think you can. you get the Dragon Balls? It says non Dragon Balls. Non Dragon Balls, yeah. Okay. So I have none left because you keep destroying mm -hmm. them. I'll uh, we'll go ahead and play Earth Dragon Ball number one. <laughs> what? So now my real way to win, I have to get to five anger quick. That's that's my. Can't out. you just also? Oh, because you, you have to steal this. You also could steal that Dragon Ball I have and to play hit for two five. more. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's mm. possible. I I kind of like that you can't just count on nuking your opponent's deck. That's that's actually fair. Yeah. Yeah. It's it like as far ahead as you are right now. It seems you could still just lose on one of those conditions. All right. Uh, you going into combat? I don't know yet, bruh. How'd you get all those cards? I think I got to. Let's go to combat. You gonna draw? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, of course. Don't even have a choice, do I? Okay. Oh, and I draw a card from that. I'm onto it. I'm into it. All right, what do you got? It's game time. So, is there a card that makes my pluses on my energy attacks not do anything, or was that last game? And nothing does that, no. You just cancel my first energy Cancel attack. the first one, yeah. Boop. Okay. So, let's play Black Driving Leg Thrust. It's a physical combat card. It gets canceled from your uh, I'm ability. My, yeah, yeah. That's good. I guess you can cancel it. So I it could technically first cancel it if I stop. wanted the effect. But no, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Alright. Okay. And you've got four cards? Yep. You get them from, like, Gohan doing this stuff? I got them from my Dragon Balls. My, my Dragon Balls! Played them all. Uh, okay. Um, okay. I need to hit you for five is what we're, we're yeah. at here. And if I, do a, if I do an energy attack, technically it's losing me life. That makes it easier. Uh, let's try an orange eye beam. It's going to cost me two instead of three. If it hits, it's going to be ten life cards. Vomit. Black Dodge mm -hmm. stops an energy attack, gain an anger. I don't have any, any a lot of like like stop stuff in here. Seems like it's just like an aggro start blast. You have a lot deck. of the drills. Mm -hmm. You have a ton of drills comparatively. I remember that. So you just like cancel stuff and. I mean, even without your stops, you're ahead of me. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. In the life game. Yeah. Uh, let's go physical attack, black driving leg thrust. It does four. You don't reference the chart. But because it's black, it would do six plus two life cards of damage. You got two cards left there? Mm-hmm. You got one of those make me discard a card cards? That would mm -hmm. not be cool. You got a big physical plus seven power stages of damage. Yeah, and if I'm at three million years zero, it's six plus, or no, it's eight plus seven. So that's a lot. And this is four a bunch? This would, it's four, but then it's plus two plus two because it's a black. So I can take eight, basically one, two, and then eight. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, I will take it. So go down to zero and then out six mm -hmm. off the top. These dragon balls out of here. Technically, that gets removed because I have this one in play. The one with Gohan, it's fine, but the Dragon Ball three just doesn't go back into your deck. Okay. Six is six not out. Nope. It's one of the ones I need. I need two, six, and seven. Okay. Oh, and I hit for a lot, so I get to steal this. I don't get to trigger that, do I? Mm-hmm. I think you can trigger it when you steal it, right? We decided that last time. Huh. That seems great. You doing it? Yeah. Uh, so it would end the battle, and then I could put three cards from here on top of my deck. Mm-hmm. Choose your next hand, yeah. And if I have a Dragon Ball in my hand that's already on the table, it does nothing. You could use it for like a final physical. I mean, because like, do I do it? 
if you don't kill me here, I think I can win. I think you're totally winning here. But, like, I have no stops. If you have anything that does damage, I just lose. Well, uh, <laughs> but you're going to draw a fresh three. Oh, you mean on this combat? Yeah. Yeah, well. Although. <laughs> I hate to tell you what's in my hand. So I, I will trigger it because I'm going to get some stops in my hand. Basically setting this hand up. Mm -hmm. And then I'll discard this card at the end of the round. You're up. I've heard it says you don't in combat, but you can pick three. That's weird. I'm just I can't believe that that works like that. It's, it's too aggravating. You gave me some anger? I took you down. All right, into the thing, I put a Dragon Ball. Well, it's out of the game, right? If it's out. And then. <laughs> Did you have anything? No. <laughs> I had the game. I have nothing. I mean, I can stop an attack. I can stop some attacks, but I don't have anything yeah. back. Got you. Oh, I don't know. Because like, I had no stops. So if you can do like five damage, you just beat me. I'll draw one, two, three. Hmm. Ah, interesting. Power up four. Hmm. Hmm. Power up four. One, two, three, four. Okay. It's pretty amazing. You've stayed on stage one this whole time. Yeah. They're and called camp decks, apparently. Fighting me. Really? Look yeah. at you. Okay. What is this? DA, uh, totally uh, catching that. He says, the first few sets really weren't well designed. You can <laughs> definitely tell with the weird oddities like on Dragon Ball 7. Um, yeah. All right. We're going to play an orange halting drill. Do I don't have that one, do I? Nope. All successful physical attacks do a max of three power stages of damage. Nice. Didn't you have something that makes you lose one less card somewhere, too? Yeah, it's from energy. Uh, mm. I can't I blow up any more Dragon yeah. Balls there. Uh, then we'll also play uh, Orange Gaze, non-combat card. Stops a physical attack, and then you put it on the bottom of the deck there. Mm, nice. And then... Uh, That's awesome, Adam. He says, just found my decks. I have blue, red, sand, Namek, and orange all ready to play. And then uh, I get to go into combat, right, if I want to? Mm-hmm. I don't. I got no attacking I cards. I got none. <laughs> I got no attacks. Bummer. So then I put the top card on the bottom? Mm hmm. A little regeneration. Oh, I discard first, so thought matters, yeah? Yeah. Um, and then top card on the bottom. Okay. Done. Over to you, Kent. Well, I put all my stops on top. That was a clever play, Wooly. Yeah, Tom, you say I'm not too embarrassed to say I've struggled to follow this game. But there are some gurus in chat tonight. That is true. So, I mean, it is interesting how different this is for both of us. I agree. I mean, like, this is a totally different. I'm in stage one beetle power <laughs> with, like, a thousand. I'm, like, the best trained cell ever, but I have no actual power. But you're, and you're just blasting me. And it's kind of coming It's turned around. It. Uh, let's enter combat. I'm getting blasted. Yep. <clears throat> you stop the first energy attack, too? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not going to enter combat. Sorry. You can draw that card as your hand, though. I'm just going to discard <laughs> this stuff and regenerate. We're down to it, aren't we? It does have so. I mean, sometimes it does, really does feel like a little flesh and blood feel, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like, you get down to the end, right? And it's like everything's been built into that squirmy moment. <laughs> okay. What's happening here? So, how, what's my, how am I going to win? Are you just going to play these Dragon Balls? This is ridiculous. I need, I need, I need attacky cards. I got no attacky cards. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I've got all these drills I already have in play. 
You have no attacks? The thing that, the thing, the holding the one card is, I wish I could hold like two. Or four. Or four. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna pass. So I'll rejuvenate and then uh, I'll put this one on the top and that goes to the bottom. Put the drill there. All right, mine? Yeah. I need Dragon Balls and I didn't get them. Let's play Dragon Ball number two. Uh -oh. Your power stage goes to two above zero. Mine or mm -hmm. all people's? Yours. Isn't it all? All foes have their power foes. ratings changed. Okay. Did you raise my power level last time? One, two, three, four. Oh, and then it doesn't matter. It'll go to two above. <laughs> um, I liked the idea though. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, D.R. Tagnan here it says there's a lot of really interesting things going on with the game engine. I do think Flesh and Blood might be or is going to be a better designed spiritual successor based on what I've seen so far. Very cool. I wonder if they took any inspiration from this. I will. Developed it for seven years. I imagine they probably played everything they'd get their hands on. That's what I would do. Pass and regenerate. So you're in a race to Dragon Balls. Which you will find, unless I, it's, it can't be the bottom card of your deck. I need one more. So I need to try to find a way to do a bunch of damage to you. To steal at least one Dragon Ball. That would be enough. Tom says that I'm very happy my flesh and blood is being delivered tomorrow. What up, Garth? What? Well, if I don't draw any attack cards. <laughs> Uh, um, all right, well, I can try. Maybe you can't block. Can you block stuff? Yes, you can. Let's, uh... So, yeah. I'll enter combat. All right, so I have to draw three. Hopefully it's all non-combat cards. <laughs> well, you canceled my first energy and physical attack. It's awful. All right, so I'm going to start with the thing that I can do. Oh, I guess I should play this before inner combat. Orange energy phasing drill. It's not gonna matter. Uh, let's go orange energy discharge. Gonna cost me, oh, I need a power up. Power one, up. One, two, three, four. It's gonna cost me two, but only one because I'm an orange hmm. person. Mine? Yeah, you gotta block. Stop it. Okay. Get an anger. Over to you. Pass. Uh, I don't know. If I do a physical attack here, it's only bad, right? I could potentially reduce your power level, but like... It won't matter. It won't matter. Here's the real problem. Oh, you just lose. <laughs> Good. <laughs> You enter in combat, it's forcing me to lose. <laughs> Excellent. Because I know what these two are. Yeah. That's, that's the number Dragon six. Ball <laughs> and number six, I believe that's why I looked at the top of my deck, because I knew it had to be it. It's the uh the Earth Dragon Ball Six is this card ends combat. So I can play it as an end oh combat. Oh my thing. gosh, that would be incredible. And <laughs> <laughs> just end the game and get the Dragon Balls. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's really you had a high odds of winning that on Dragon Balls then. I was looking. Literally, it's the last card in the deck. Yep. Sure is. Now, did you use Gohan's ability when you entered combat? Oh, it's not this Gohan. He would let me get a combat card. But he also shuffled the deck, right? Which means that... Well, I haven't used that since I've been stacking. Yeah. So I've regenerated twice. Yeah. And so I knew it was like I was down to... I was just trying to get that sixth going into your turn on your combat. There's no way to get a card on the top of your deck or anything? Never mind. It's over. I got nothing. Pass. Pass, pass, I'll pass. I'll pass, and then I'll lose. Yes. Draw my hand. I did have, uh, this is a nice card. Cell's defense just stops all attacks for the remainder of the combat. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's like, oh, I'm going to pants yeah. Zach. He's going to have like a big seven card hand about to unleash, and then I'm going to wreck it. So that's interesting, man. I, I think the... Um, I think the thing that strikes me is that both of our, and this is probably just a, obviously us not being good at it. <laughs> sure. 
has an impact, but I think the game system itself being able to just kind of end with a blah, with like, a whimper. Uh, okay, I draw my last three and the game's over. Um, it's something that I would probably find a way to not have happen. Yeah, I mean, like if I were di digging in, it's it's interesting because like the power stage thing with the Z Scouter and the chart is simultaneously like really interesting, but also a bit finicky. Yeah, like it was. It's, it's, you just have to mess with it. Yeah, but the, you know, the theme is there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I definitely get it. I, I like the balance of like the primary win condition versus the Dragon Balls versus um, Max Personality. I think that's a really good balance where it's not just a one-dimensional um, game. Like, I think that's one thing. Do you I, think people will start playing uh, sideways though, playing next to each other instead of interacting with each other? Um, I mean, because my decks like search, get the Dragon Balls, go 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 go. I think less, like it depends on the cards they put in the game, right? But like, even the Dragon Balls to me, it's like it encourages you to play the Dragon Balls, which is good thematically. Because yeah. in a game called Dragon Balls, you want people on Dragon Balls. And since combat can steal Dragon Balls, that that stops that win condition through the primary means of yeah. the game. But it's a balance because like if you filter out my deck for me, like at the end, it's pretty risky there because like the odds of me hitting that those Dragon Balls are high. Mm -hmm. And they have powerful effects, so it's a it's an interesting balance. And then like even the power stage is only mattering to a point. Mm -hmm. it means you don't have to really care about anger and powering up if you don't want to. Um, but also you can win by powering up. So like that's so, its own own math. That's what I want to. That's actually one of the things I think's worth talking about is like, is that needed? Like why 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 would you have a win condition that's like? When I get to my coolest form, the game's over. Yeah. Like, if you took that completely out, what do you lose, I guess? Well, I think the uh, reason there is, like, technically, if we're both... Uh, the way I would do it, if it were me. Connor saying something that could steal Dragon Balls when you win combat would be thematic. That actually exists. If you if you do five damage... You steal a Dragon Ball. You steal ball. a Dragon Ball. So yeah. that, is, that is built in. You go beat him up and steal it. Yeah, it's uh, smart. Yeah, the thing I, I'm su not surprised, but I think it makes more sense to me is like, when you get to your maximum power stage, if you also get to anger level five, you like ascend into like untouchable. <laughs> sure, yeah, you, you know? just get to use the form. Yeah, you at least get to use whatever that stage four thing is. Um, it's in interesting to design cards that you really can't use. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or that you, they don't yeah, expect right. you like to really use. Like the coolest cards too. Yeah, like that Super Saiyan Goku. Isn't that weird? The stage four Super Saiyan Goku. Get that gnat. I know, it's just randomly day. flying. Um, <laughs> is like, looks awesome and feels awesome, and then it's like, I get there and it's game over. Yeah. It's like, well, I guess, okay. Uh, but you could have an alt format where you actually get to use those. Yeah, that's what um, uh, Carl's saying on Facebook. Mini decks and formats don't win if they hit that level. So That makes sense. That's kind of cool. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely got some, like, there are interesting vibes that remind me of Flesh and Blood, yeah. which is why I wanted to throw back to it this week. A little bit um, of that. You have the one character thing. Uh, you're, it's ultimately like a fight. It's opposite, and you power up instead of power down. Mm -hmm. And the end state, I'm glad that one felt, both of them kind of felt that way at the end, but this one was particularly like, I think last time too, right? Because it was it like, yeah. I kinda... felt way ahead, and then all of a sudden it was like, I'm not way ahead, and actually this could tilt the wrong way for me. Um, which is how I feel about Flesh and Blood, where it's like sometimes I feel way ahead. And then they, they, they get back in. And then you just defend up. I feel like I've done that to you more than the other way around, where like you'll get me down to one, and I just... Uh, it's always intense for me, because it's like it I is can't intense. miss it's always intense. on anything. That's that you, it, you kind of run into the same thing where you kind of need a finisher. You also run into the same thing where sometimes you draw your cards uh, at the start of the turn, and it's there's no attacks. So because you don't have attacks in your hand, yeah. Now they solve it the same way, right? So some of these personalities have attacks built in, just like your weapons in Flesh and Blood have attacks built in. Yeah. So you kind of get around the. I That's didn't very draw similar, an attack right? Thing. It's so similar. Um, but it's, like, I draw three defense reactions during my turn, and it's like, okay, well I can't do much, so I hope to try to salvage that, put one in the arsenal, and go to the next next stage. It it's it's strange. That there's this little, this, this, there's a lot of threads of similarity in this that I would never have expected. Yeah, and you I have really like. I wonder how much they, if they played it a lot, like if they were fans of the I'm game when, when it was. I would be kicking. surprised because I know they, like James, particularly the founder, like was all around. Super and magic and yeah. then the tabletop scene. But it definitely feels, it has those beats. Like, mm -hmm. I, and thinking about the attacks versus the attacks in Flesh and Blood, 
And you can see like some template improvements there. Because like here where it's like energy attack doing five life, if it just said energy attack and had a five on it, mm -hmm. that communicates the same thing without having to say anything. Yeah. Um, and even the reality of like having, uh, you could have a, the energy cost in a different corner. And yeah. it's like, I think I think you could actually and if every card could block some damage from that attack, yep. right? Then you don't get in that situation. I didn't draw any blocks. I'm just getting pounded here. I think that would actually you can imagine that immediately. Mm -hmm. I mean, Flesh and Blood feels like uh, <laughs> you know two or three generations down the road, because like if you don't have to have cards that specifically just block, but you're choosing because we're going back and forth on combat. It's like, mm -hmm. do I want to have more offense or am I going to prevent some damage here? Yeah, that makes so much sense. Um, starts to feel very similar and like. You know, if I get behind in power stages, the physical attacks are really good for blocking because, like, I obviously am not going to do too much with physical attacks. So I, I could definitely see that. I am curious now how Panini changed the 2014 version, mm -hmm. having played this. But you can see if we were, these were coming out roughly when the show was happening. And it's like you're watching every week, and then it's like, oh, my God, like, let's go yeah, play this yeah, game totally. and jam them out. The difference, I think the difference in approach with, uh, with a game, like the system for Flesh and Blood, the way that it, it was implemented is that you kind of have this, obviously you have to discard the cards if you want to do the defense thing. Um, you also have- Those are also your resources. Attacks in hand, those are also your resources. You're pitching those resources. They define the chain a lot better, right? Where you have those defensive reactions and when they happen. Um, so they really, it really is kind of a, a newer, it really is a lot like this. That's wild. And the attack reactions as well, right? Yeah. That's something they kind of added as a as a. But I feel like they way to change the map. You know, they put everything in the corners and added variables. Like they make it, they don't. You don't have specific block cards. You have there are block cards that only block, mm -hmm. which is kind of the same. Um, but they also like the combat. In this case, right, you start a combat. We each have a similar number of cards, like in flesh and blood. But instead of me spending cards affecting my next turn, it affects this round of combat. Mm -hmm. So that's also a little different. Yeah. Um, and I think this runs into some of the CCG problems where it's like, like you were running into there, if I don't draw attacks, <laughs> I can't win. Mm -hmm. And so like, the fact and that- you're slowly losing. The fact that not- discard them. Yeah, and you, you have the final physical attack, but like I ran into this several times in this game, where I, I could do my final physical attack, but you had to cancel the first unblocked mm -hmm. physical, and I didn't draw any other physicals, and so I think Flesh and Blood is cleverly doing, uh, doing away with some of the, the problems in a game like this, right? Which is like, you don't have the sp block specific cards, mm -hmm. right? There's no permanents that are staying on the board. Mm -hmm. um, Way less of them. There's like those potions, yeah. the one-time potions. Yeah, but, but like, it. it's not like a static, I cancel one physical for yeah. forever. But it's cool, you power up and you get rid of the drills. I, I like that balance mechanic. What it, honestly, what it really feels like, so Dragon Ball Z is just a glor like glorified, Wrestling, I mean, <laughs> sure. I, you know, it's like characters are going from Momentum heel up, to, you know, and, and it's the story of the fighting, but it's not really about the fighting. It's about the story of the character development, like through those story moments. And so, Flesh and Blood just seems like they, you know, rather than going that really all out on the Dragon Ball Z concept, which necessarily is about sometimes you're just getting beat up relentlessly. Yeah, and there's nothing you can do about Buried it because that's the, the game, right? That's yeah. the that's the whole point of the show. That's the drama of it. Is like sometimes you're just getting hosed, and you hope that it turns in your favor a couple of times during the match. Um, but Flesh and Blood made it to where all of the characters feel like they're very evenly matched, yeah. and it's a much more like uh, precise, like pound for pound going back and forth, rather than big moments of getting piled on a bunch. And then I hope I draw my cards, and then oh I did, and now I'm piling onto you. You know, yeah. it's a little less of that. And I mean, Flesh and Blood <laughs> is a little. I mean, it's less. Uh, it's greedy. It's more realistic, right? Yeah. So like. This definitely, is, in the first part of the game, I felt like you were just burying me yeah. in the ground. <laughs> uh, and not, obviously, I'm not dying. Like, that's not how this show works. Um, so it's really interesting. I do think the there is something with the balance between, like, most powerful personality victory and the Dragon Balls. Like, having alternate win conditions mm -hmm. puts a, a different kind of spin than, like, Flesh and Blood. I do think when you get to the end and I'm down to one, there's a tension there and it's, it's simpler. So that uh, can be good and bad. But there is something like, it's like, I'm creating pressure even though I'm losing. That is an interesting concept. Is a fun balance. I actually like that a lot. So uh, last thing we'll do here, Dart uh, saying here, the Flesh and Blood system, definitely a vast improvement. Seeing you guys play that has really made me want to check it out. I might end up forcing my roommate to try it with me. So you nice. should. They're, we have free decks. Literally, they're totally free. You just pay shipping on them. 
Um, and you get two of those, and they play against each other. They're, they're built to literally teach you the concepts. They also have some exclusive cards that are only there in those decks, and they're really good cards, like the lunging. And they're really fun what decks. What have you. And they're really fun, yeah. And so if you dig it, then, uh, yeah, I, I would suggest it, because the system will feel familiar to you if you played this Dragon Ball Z game, for sure. Very, very cool. All right, Zach, we'll uh, we did get it. out of here. So I don't even have to get up. Look we can this. actually do it now. Actually, Jonathan's already said it. Look at him. He's got the out and the... That's really nice of him to do, and then you can just hit the button. Yeah. All right, well, Zach, take him out anyway. I'll, hey, I'll uh, be staring afar at a screen. It was great to see uh, see this. We'll, we'll probably end up checking out the 2014 Panini version at some point. If you haven't been watching or following, we've been doing throwbacks every Thursday to a bunch of old games that we've played, loved, and or always wanted to play, and it's been really cool. We also have a weekly podcast called The Covenant Cast where we've been talking a lot about game design because we've been playing five days a week of games exploring all sorts of games and also hitting all these old throwbacks. So this will definitely be a part of the conversation. If you haven't checked out Flesh and Blood yet, we've been doing that on Tuesdays, I think. I don't know what day of the week it is anymore. Uh, and it's definitely a cool, similar vibe game. Uh, it's it's Beautiful different. It's not art. Dragon Ball. So Beautiful art. That. Good tempening, more modern, yeah. et cetera. Uh, chat's been great. Super helpful with the rules. All, as always, appreciate it. We hope you're all doing very well and happy to have you here. So Arkham stay tomorrow. It is. We're back. Arkham stay tomorrow. safe out there. Hmm. Until next time, keep playing.